the <laughs> one thing about Mormon Mormon religion is that you can't have sex until you get married. Yeah. So what they try to do to get around that <clears throat> is like, say it's a man, a dude, and a girl, right? And he just puts his shit in her, and there's another friend like under the bed, just move like like just moving the motion that doesn't count. Huh? Yes, bro. So. The bed has to move. He's like, you're not thrusting. He's thrusting, He's thrusting for thrusting you. thrusting for you, exactly. Yeah. Like, that's crazy, though. Isn't that shit heavy? Like, that's two people in one that's bed. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you got to, like, you that's, sweating out there, that's bro. That shit not weird? That's weird as hell to me, but, hey, that's just Yo, if, if we was Mormon, you got me, bro? I got you. Oh, you got nah, me? I got you. You I a real nigga. Like, nigga. Nah, I swear Yo, to God, I got you. you. Nigga. Nah, I got you. I got you. Yo. I got you. I'll shake about you. It all starts with trust, Fritz. Look at this nigga. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not it's not a problem with trust, bro. I don't have a problem with trust. Well, I do have a problem with trust, but at some point, at some point, like I said, bro, communication and trust go hand in hand. I it goes hand in hand. Yeah, you're not. Making my trust in you better by you not texting me in three hours. Okay, three. four hours, five hours. We not doing that. Five bro. hours? It was five hours. Nigga, bro, part. that's a long I've time. I've had that, bro. That's a long that time. That ass, bro. I was scared. Damn, I was scared with one hour. No, you pussy. But, but that was the first time, though. It was, this shit was like a yeah, shocker see, to see, me. You was, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on now? <laughs> you was new to this shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you was. You was new to Nigga, I've been going through it. <laughs> I've been going through it. I'm you a were, veteran. You a veteran? And I'm a veteran, but I, I dead ass yesterday. Yesterday, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was like, I told her, bro. I was like, bro, I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm dead ass, bro. Because I'm not about to be like, because like, I don't know. With with females, bro, I don't know if it's mine, bro. <laughs> it's like I'm fucking talking to a child, bro. I'm dead ass. It's like I'm talking to, to a child. Like, motherfuckers don't like listening. <laughs> they, I don't get it, bro. So if she texts you every hour, like how the update, you'll be fine, bro. That's cool, but I don't even want like every hour necessarily. You just yeah, want every it. hour is cool. <laughs> every hour is cool, actually. You, I, you I, just I, want updates. I just want, uh, bro. I actually just want updates. Like maybe if you guys change the change the scenery type shit. Yeah, that's, I mean, see, I, mean, I, yeah, I wanted that too, but I didn't realize everything was literally like walking distance. So I'm like, okay. If she was driving over there and you sitting in the car, yeah. then that's fine. And then she probably text me. But like if it's like if they like like literally like in line with each other, then it's like it's that's, like it's, that's it's, it's cool. cool. Like, nah, that's cool. But that's cool. My nigga, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, because she used to do that type of shit. Like she used to like uh text niggas and be like and be like, Yeah, I'm I'm we going here, this that she not doing it no more. So why the f- what's going on here? Like what's going on here? That's the thing that I don't like. How many of her friends does she be going out with? Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. And don't her friend got a boyfriend? Nigga, that don't fucking matter, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking come on, son. You what? think a boyfriend matters, bro? It, it depends on the it depends nah, on bro, the person. I told you, it depends on the person. It depends on the person, honestly. Exactly. Yeah, because some some girls don't give a fuck. Listen, bro. Uh, I don't know if she's not going to see she, she, I don't know if she's going to see this or not. So I don't even you know. know you want to wanna talk about some other shit? You want to talk about how our night was? Yeah, our night was cool. <laughs> our night was cool, but I don't want to. Yeah, because I don't want yeah, to put it on blast. It's but anyways, good, bro. bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, our night was cool. That nigga Darius was uh, fucked up. It wasn't that bad. Well, it wasn't that bad. but that bad. It, yeah, I, would ask, I would ask Darius, I'd be like, Yo, Darius, you good? This nigga, nah, I'm fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. He can say, nah, I'm fucked up right now. I was like, yo, damn. Bro, after the second one, I was like, damn. I was like, I was like, damn, hold on, I'm leaning right now. I was like, I was like, I gotta I gotta lock in. I got I got focused for like two minutes to make sure I'm good. I'm just yeah. looking around. I'm looking at this nigga. Nigga Fritz was fucked up too. Yeah, nigga Fritz was just up. standing there like this. <laughs> like it was, was a blinker good. city, bro. I was going. I'm not gonna lie, because that nigga, all right, so. Some niggas, I mean, uh, Chris told me, I guess some guy, I remember the first time. I don't remember the other two times. <laughs> then nigga, there's, I mean, Chris talk about some, yeah, the nigga told you to take your hood off like three times. Yeah. 
I was like, yo, I don't remember the second time or the third time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you did. It was probably the other the I think I remember the one time, but I think the other two times I was I was with like Ish and them. Yeah, I don't remember See, that. See, this nigga nigga Fritz was fried out of his ass off of one blink. Nigga Ish was plotting in the circle looking for the biddies. It was a, Bash it was, was <laughs> Bash was waiting at the bar for two hours for the drinks. It was a it was a <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that nigga Bash. I remember when I was in the circle. I'm still looking at Bash over there. Just, <laughs> he gotta the get a drink. drink. He, he can't put, get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> nigga couldn't get a drink. Nigga still putting his hands up, talking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Chris over there talking with his keen friends and about to somebody. Oh yeah. Whose name we will not we pronounce? We will not mention, bro. It was, what was that? <clears throat> oh, that was for Chris's graduation. We went to the thing. So, uh, oh, it was, that was for that was his graduation shit. Like, oh no, that was for his job because he got job, a job. Yeah. Chris got big boy job, so yeah, that's why we went out. And then, I'm sorry, guys, if I sound weird, I'm a little sick right Fritz now. Fritz is a little. So. Under, you you should have seen when he came in. Nigga was nigga was slumped over. Nigga had his do rag off. You guys, I thought he was gonna see his waves for once. Yeah, nigga, he got a fresh the, haircut. The, the waves fired up. Yeah, bro, I'm just trying to tell you, yeah, the yeah. show, bro. Yeah, I'm not bald uh, <laughs> under here, guys. I just I don't know. I prefer. I don't know. I prefer a do rag. I I don't know if anyone has ever asked me, but I don't know. I at this point, a do rag is a part of me. I'm not gonna lie, but I I need this to stop. First time I need to stop doing it. it. Huh? This is the first time you ever admitted it. Yeah, because <laughs> because I don't know. Like at this point, like it's like you know how you wear socks. <laughs> like you have to put socks before yeah, yeah. you put oh, shoes on. Wow, so you gotta put your do rag on. It's like damn. It's like second. Like oh, I gotta get my do rag just to put my okay. do rag on. I've been. Alright, so niggas don't know. Like I've been uh like, t- like having waves for like since like shit. I don't fucking remember. Twenty eighteen type nah, it shit. might have been. Did you have curls? Nah, I, I, yeah, I had lo- I had uh, a little hair? fro, a little fro. How like, about junior year? Junior year two, yeah, junior year two. So senior, year. and the senior year, I cut my hair. My senior year, okay, okay. Gra- for graduation. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did, I cut did. my hair. You did. And then, yeah. So then I started waving, right? You know, I didn't really wear a do rag outside or, or whatever because I don't know. I have Haitian parents and they don't really like that shit. So do your parents mind now? Nah. Oh, they still don't. Nah, they don't mind now. Oh, they don't mind. Okay. Yeah, they don't mind now That's not because. Bad. Uh, they already been seeing me around there. But so so I just at this point, like it's just like I just put a do rag on. Just sometimes like it's just I don't even think about it. I just put it on. Damn. It's bad, but You got a do rag addiction. Yeah, I got it. Is I, I used to buy a lot of do rags. I, I have mean, a lot of do rags. How many do you have? Like do you have every color? Like I possibly like have every color. I'm not gonna lie. I have a lot of do rags. What's your favorite do rag? I have yet to buy one though. What's your favorite do rag? I don't buy a new one. You have a favorite? Probably just a plain black one. Just a plain black one? You don't got no special shit? I do, but like I don't like no like velvet shit. Do you have a Louis V do rag? I got a Bape do rag. Oh, you do? Yeah. What color is it? Like blue? Blue. Oh, okay. Like blue and black or just blue? Nah, just straight blue. Damn, why'd you bring that shit for the pods, bro? Why'd you I don't ch- like how it look. I don't like how it feels on my head, bro. It's oh, not really? silk. Oh, it's not. What is it? It's, it's like, uh, polyester? like some yeah, it's like some polyester. Oh, okay. and I don't like it. Yeah, it yeah. don't feel good. Bro. I get you. I get you. I, get I you. need it to feel good in my head. Pause. That, that's just yeah. That crazy. was very crazy. Yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> that was <laughs> that's bad. That was crazy. Was I'm not gonna lie. Nah, I needed to like. I needed to be silk type shit. Damn. So they don't got no silk like bait hoodies. I said they, pr- they probably do, but oh. you're gonna have to buy them, and it's gonna. I don't really buy do rags no more. I just use what I got. Type shit. But uh. Yeah, that's that's really why I be wearing do rags. Like I, I'm not bald under here. Yeah, he's not bald. Don't worry, people. You got you got good hair, bro. Yeah, I got nigga pretty. be paying. Used to pay sixty dollars for his haircut. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, that, that was a, that was. I a ain't day doing it no more. That's a the crazy day. Yeah, bro. I ain't, I don't do it no more. You want to introduce the pod though? We still didn't introduce it. Oh my 90, fault. Bro. Uh yeah, it's your boy Fritz. You know, back with another one. Uh, you guys seen me probably like two weeks ago, honestly. Yeah, if you see Fritz here, uh. Oh, Often? I was yeah. I was supposed. To, I'm filling in for you, Jay. That's why. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. If I see you, if you see me, what? Well. If you see Fritz often, like back to back, either back to back or multiple times, some shit went wrong. And yeah. Fritz is always the first nigga. And I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm just here to. Fritz is the. I'm always here. Type shit. Yeah, I'm like feeling. <laughs> you so. be here next week though. Yeah. Nigga can't be driving around too much. Oh yeah, he does live far. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's your boy Fritz. I'm back, you know, uh, with my co host. You know what I'm saying? The W, of course. Episode 90, people. Ep- episode 90. Follow the socials. 10 more to 100 episodes. Which is a which sounds like a little bit, but it's low key a lot. <laughs> it is low key a lot. <laughs> that is like, that's like three months. Yeah, that's <clears throat> a lot. But I also have a bonus pod. If you guys want a bonus podcast, how many likes should they put on this video? I'll say 100. Yeah, it should be a hundred. Uh-huh. I don't know why we don't get a hundred. We be having like a thousand. Nah, people. facts. Like y'all don't like. Like y'all shit? not liking it, bro. That's why. That's why a lot of people. That's why a lot of I see why a lot of like YouTubers really like stress the liking too. Yeah. Like because first of all, it puts you out there. You know, puts mm-hmm. you in the algorithm and shit like that. So I'm saying, bro. Come yeah, on, people. So like, we, like it, man. We got five hundred thousand on TikTok, almost ten k on Instagram. We're about to hit. 6,500 on subs for YouTube. Like the video, share it, all that stuff. If you want the new podcast, meet Chris Jakai. We was talking about, we was talking about homeless niggas. We was talking about how Jakai and Chris hate homeless niggas. We talking about brother Marfie from Newark. What? Yeah, it was crazy. That was good. That was a funny ass podcast. Niggas, really? I was debating about these niggas because they hate, they don't like giving money to homeless niggas. Wait, so it's a, it's a bonus pod. Yeah, you bonus pod. Did not pod. put out yet. I didn't put out yet. I'm just been waiting. Really? Yeah, I didn't know when to do it. So okay, when it comes out, you guys know why. Fritz said 100 likes type shit. 100 likes. But yeah. So so after after that party on Friday, me and Jay went out on Saturday night to New York City with her friend, best friends. It was her birthday that day. Yeah. So it was fun. Like it was it was fun, yeah. but I like it was cool. Mm-hmm. It was cool, but it was like I don't know why. Like I felt it was out like out of place. Yeah, I felt out of place. Yeah. I just felt, like but they, they I was talking to like her her best friend's boyfriend was cool. He's from he's from Elizabeth, so I'd be I, I was talking I was talking about him, and then yeah. she another one of her friends had a boyfriend, and I was talking about him. But we were just talking about sports betting and shit. Yeah, but like I, I sports bet one time, but the rest was like gel. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but I, I I knew like I knew what I was talking about, but I was just talking about like like he he was starting to do like the plus five one fifties. I'm like damn, I don't know what that yeah, means. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. So I just I just I just we was watching. I was like, thank God a Laker game on, bro. Yo, but, like Laker game is on, and then so. Yeah, it's because it's because you ain't know like the people that was yeah, over I didn't there. Know like people. you only knew Jay for real. Yeah, I knew Jay and then her best. Friend. I knew her boy. You seen her boyfriend before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool dude. Yeah, cool dude. So, yeah. so yeah. So then we went to the place. It was like you remember in the Batman movie when they was in the club. Batman movie. The, the, recent, the recent one mm-hmm. that just came out. Remember they was in the club with the the uh, the penguin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, remember yeah. how like the there's like walkways on top? Yeah, on top. That's yeah. how it looked, how but it was. wasn't that big. Okay. It was like smaller. Like it was like a like it was a, it was a decent size. Like it was cool. Like it was fun. We was we had like drinks and stuff. I don't know how many how much I drank that day. It was Damn, a lot. you just you just Bro, they like, just giving me shit, bro. Yeah, you just taking it. I think pause. Pause. That's just how crazy. <laughs> that My kidding. fault. Damn, I think I'm when wilding. we before we left, I think we probably had like maybe like four. Four drinks, four shots, you know, three. But it was bad. it was like little cups, it was like this, like this yeah, big. Yeah, that ain't bad. And then when we got there, I think we probably had like two, like one or two more. But then we had like like drinks, like cocktails, like on the side and shit like that. Who drove you back? You're, you're the boyfriend, right? No, nah, it was a. It, we took Uber. You took Uber. Yeah. So All we right. Uber, and then we went to another place. We went to Uber another, to another place. Yeah, it was at like two o'clock in the morning. It was like we going to this Barcelona place called Barcelona. So we're like, all right. So we go there, and it's like she's like, oh, we're gonna have what's it called? It was called orgasm shots. I said. Pause. Oh, niggas better. I was like, what is going on here? Niggas so then trying to get freaky. Nigga, I was like, what is about to happen? <laughs> so then he was like, it was a it was a Filipino dude. I know I know who I know a Filipino nigga when I see one. Or Indonesian. It was one of those two. Yeah. So he was like, all right, orgasm shots, everybody. I'm like, oh fuck. So he puts like these little, you know the little dishes? Yeah. It's like a little dish, but it's like a it's like a half it's like a, it's like a plate. Yeah. And then you put the the shot in the in the dish. Yeah. And then he puts the shot in. I don't know. It tastes like like chocolate or like like it was like oh, so espresso. It, good. it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too bad. Oh, right, cool. And then he puts whipped cream around like the whole shit. And he's like, you can't use your hands. So like when you, Pause. yeah, it's just bad. I, like I, like like mid doing it, I'm like, yo, this is tight this is move. Tight, and then crazy. and then when you drink it, it's like the whipped cream is on your face now. Pause. And then no, that's not even the worst part, bro. Nigga was in the back. He had like a little like a syringe to it. Like he was like. 
and he was like, yo, he was squirting that shit. Everywhere. I was like, nah, bro. Yo, I was like, nah, you're bugging. I was bro, like, nah, you're bugging. Where did you go, bro? That shit was by Jay. I said, nah, bro. Hell no. I put my hand right there, like, nah, you ain't doing that weird stuff, my girl. Bro. You was already fucked up too, right? I was, I was. You was already, you was, you was already just a little tipsy. Right? Yeah, I was a little tipsy, but I'm like, I knew. I was like, nah, this some weird shit. Like, oh nah. And he was like, he was screaming it, bro. Like he was being loud. He was like, nah, uh, uh. nah. Like he was bugging. Bro. I was like, nah, bro, you're bugging. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Nigga. I don't play with that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Like at some point, like you see niggas with you see the girls with the niggas. So yeah. at some point, I feel like you gotta take that, take that. I don't, I don't know. He probably does it like no, it's, every it's time. Like, it's like a, yeah, it was like a show type of thing. Nah, nah. You <laughs> yeah. should, you should, you, there ain't no show as long. That's respect, my nigga. Nigga, I don't, I don't know, know what I had in my hand. Nah. I think I, I had Jay's heels in my hands. I was just like that, like nah, you ain't nothing. And, and you, you ain't fake nothing. You drink, this and, you drink, and you drink, you drink that shit. I did drink it. Pause. It was hella pause. Oh I, I didn't, yo, I didn't realize how bad it was till I drank it. Yeah, I'm like, damn, good. this shit look kind of mook. That shit fucked you up though. That was not, nah, I wasn't. Too that shit was good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. All right. And then, and then we, then Jay took one more shot, and then we went back home and just Ubered back home. All right. Yeah. So, and we got back at like three some, three thirty. All right. So yeah, I had a time that night. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I had a good night. Yo, I mean, look. But me and you, we not outside dudes. Like we don't really go out like that. Nah, dude. like me, bro. Me. <clears throat> If I'm gonna go out, like I said, bro, I'm gonna go out with my with my niggas. Yeah. Because that's who, obviously, that's who I'm comfortable with, and who I know. So I know I'm gonna have a decent time. Yeah. Like even if I go with my girl, I feel like that I'm not I'm not gonna have a like a cool ass time because I'm gonna talk to my I'm gonna be talking to my girl the whole time. I don't, I don't know if I want to do that the whole time, <laughs> but she's <laughs> fucked up. I'm fucked up. Or like. It's like, I don't know if I want to talk to my girl the whole fucking time. It's going to get boring at some point. Have you ever been out with your girl? Like to the club? Yeah. Nah. Bro, it's not like- She asked me. You're not going to be- I don't be wanting to. All right, but do do other boyfriends go? Uh Probably. If it's just you and like the girls, then I'm like, uh, that, then I'm like, uh, nah, facts, right. then that's, but if it's like, like if like her best friend want to bring a boyfriend around and then she wants me to come, I'm like, oh, I'll, just, I'll come, I'll come. Because we really just, we're like literally me and Jay was just sitting, on, we're standing on the couch, just listening to music and singing to each other the whole time. That's boring. What you mean it's boring? That's mad boring. What you want to do? Exactly. Not go at all, honestly, <laughs> wait, at this point. Wait, what you want to do? But like, think about it, you, little tipsy though. Yo, that music started hitting a little bit. Nah, the music, the music over there where it was, it was pretty, it was pretty, it, it was hitting. Oh, when we was at the thing? Yeah, I know. Um, but that, that's not an environment um, for like. Chris, Chris <laughs> was, Chris was talking about some. The movie music was ass. I was like, bad. this shit rocking to me. In the beginning, when we was just us and that motherfucker, yeah, I don't think I told you we got there so it was just we was in there by ourselves. Yeah, we oh, was early. We was, we early. was so early. That that shit. Yeah, was, we was we was just like chilling, like, but and the music was hitting. But I ain't gonna lie, when I was in Blinker City, the music was hitting a lot, yo. I was like, damn, this shit. Go-. Nah, but, all right, bro. What? In all honesty, uh, I really don't see what's the big hype at the club. Like, I never do. I, I never do. I'm gonna be honest right. with you. Like, because like I don't knock every, anyone that goes to the club. Yeah. I knock niggas who go to the club every week. Or every every see, day type I shit. knock that niggas shit. that because look I think see first of all this shit's bread, this bread. that's your bread this shit's bread like why you got bills and you worried about and you and you want to go on top of that and worry niggas, about going to the club niggas like me and you we got girlfriends so we don't yeah, have I'm, no I'm, business I'm, in the I'm, club for yeah. real niggas who okay but because niggas when, who go in the club and don't get ass and you don't got no girlfriend that's weird that's weird that's very weird that and is then, crazy if you're consistently going, going and you're not getting ass consistently at least one time my nigga. that's what i'm saying oh my god and you 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 at you don't got no girl you single but you at the wall and shit and you chilling it's crazy see all right so for niggas right it looks for girls See, what I had to realize was that girls and niggas go to the club for two different reasons okay depending on like this their situation. Like single well, girls depending they, who they are. Single girls single girls they like, I've seen them single girls, bro. <laughs> single uh, girls, I don't know. But that, that that's the thing. You don't know if they single or not. What you mean? You don't know if the bitch is single or not. Like in general? In general, nigga. I mean, but you can what tell, if that, what if I mean my you, nigga, what? But like it just depends. Alright, think about it, bro. What if that bit bro, I heard about this nigga <laughs> who got a girl who got a girl, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and he was he was he was in the middle type shit. Yeah. 
Nigga was breaking some bitch back. Wow, you know how in the middle niggas is flashing and shit. <laughs> they taking videos. Nigga was in the video. Oh, so the nigga has a girlfriend. Nigga got a girl. See, but that's that's different. That's that's not different. It's still a it's still a person that in oh, a see, relationship. But, but a girl that could be shaking ass. You don't know if she's single or not. Or, or I know, she, but like she's she not gonna be ass, looking for niggas to like. Like do what? No, that, no, no. I don't think they necessarily look for niggas. Yeah, but like, but that's but what, but you know they shaking their ass. That's, that's what I'm saying, Fritz. They, they attracted they, niggas. They could they could attract niggas, and but niggas only, gonna come. They gonna come. They go. There's not. There's there's no doubt they're gonna come. And they go, you, they could stop. What you what you? <laughs> if they got a girl. If they got a nigga. Exactly, Fritz. If they're if they're loyal to you, and if they <laughs> if they loyal to you, Fritz, they will curve the niggas. Okay, if they not, my nigga. Okay, if they then not, they then, not, then they, they, they not the one for them niggas, bro. Exactly. So that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't know if they single or not. I know, but like that's what I'm like, if the girl if the nigga comes up to the girl who shake your ass and he's trying to dance her and he she curves him, he understands now. Okay. Okay. But some girls are not like that, bro. I understand some girls not like that. But like like if you trust your girl, bro, to not do it, like do you trust like do what do you think your girl is doing, bro? Huh? I don't think a girl out there shaking ass for niggas, bro. I feel like she's just with their friends, just having fun, drinking, and just like dancing. Nah, I don't think so neither. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't think so neither. She like I I she probably, you know, she probably like, you know, with her friends and shit yeah. like that. Which is cool. I'm cool with. Yeah. But uh <laughs> But you got like you gotta understand, bro. Like, you gotta understand. Like if like you, if you have an attractive girlfriend, there's a lot of shit that comes with it, bro. That's cool. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you should, like, like you should be like, like, oh, I'm that, I'm that nigga because my girl get all these niggas, but she curving all these niggas for me. Yeah, bro, That's how you know she's curving the niggas though. You girl gonna tell you? Huh? You gonna be telling you? Yeah, but I mean, see, but but still, yeah, Sometimes, listen, me, I man, I got trust issues. Bro. I understand, Fritz. I be, I be thinking the same way. Tell pe- <laughs> People lie, bro. Motherfuckers don't tell motherfuckers the truth, the the whole story, in all the time, bro. Fritz, don't put, don't. I'm not putting my shit on you. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So don't think like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't think like me. Do not. I don't want to cause no nah, problems. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I was. But, I used to be fighting demons, nigga. Left and right, nigga. I learned a lot. But you, look. But, but listen. But listen. Listen, bro. Okay. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Sometimes they don't want to tell you the truth, the, the whole story, because know. they know how you're going to react. That's exactly what Jay said to me. Exactly. Like, they I know. know how you're going to react. I understand. So, my nigga. I understand. It sounds bad. Like, it does, like, but you got to- how, how are you possibly shaking ass? I'm sorry. I need to get closer. How are you possibly shaking ass at a club and no nigga coming at you, bro? That's impossible in uh, my that's, eyes. That's impossible- but you gotta trust in her that she's gonna curve them niggas. Like, does she? She tells you about? Does she, does she tell you if niggas come up to her at the club? No, bro. Like, did you ever ask? Nah, I don't ask. Why not? Because, well, I well I asked um like probably like once or whatever, and she said no. Okay, then it's no. That's Fritz. a fucking lie, why? boy. Get Fritz? the fuck out of here. That's Fritz, impossible. Why? The club is for niggas that are horny. I understand. Niggas Fritz. is dogs, like I, know, I said, I bro. Know, Fritz. I understand. That's imp- <laughs> niggas is dogs, bro. Niggas is dogs. Bro, I know, bro. I'm coughing this shit. I bro, understand. niggas is dogs. So you telling me no, no nigga came up? Nah, okay, I feel like nigga, she just she just lying. Some niggas is trying, so she trying to like not make me feel some type of way, which I won't feel some type of way. Exactly, I won't. Feel, I won't be mad at her. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna be like, all right, the nigga, whatever, nigga, whatever. The last, so why the fuck you lying to me for? Bro, the last time Jay went out, bro, she there was, there was like five niggas I tried to talk to her, bro. She told me every one of them niggas. Okay, that's cool. I'm saying, and that's good. But like, you need to tell me one uh, uh, them niggas. But uh, you telling me no. Nah. But, like, there could be, there might not be nobody. Impossible. Fritz, there was, yo. <laughs> no, impossible. It could have, it could Fritz, happen. there's what? Fritz, there was, like, not every nigga is, like, finding, like, every, like, it's not like every nigga in there is trying to, like, like, rump on some motherfucker. But there's, but there is, there dogs. is more niggas trying to rump than more niggas not trying to rump. That is also true. 
But that's what you got. So put. there's no fucking way that. But I think you're just trying. You're making. You do what I do. You're looking at both sides of a scenario of what could be right. What Bro, happening? You have to not, look at both sides. I understand. You're always looking at the positive shit. I do. Then I that's really do. that's not how life works. I look, I look at both sides. Sometimes okay. the negative side scares me. Mm-hmm. Of course it does. But you got to understand that you got to trust the, her word. Like I, I let me give you an example. Let, let me tell you. I, I seen a quote the other day, bro. They said, <laughs> they said, your imagination kills you more than the reality real nigga shit real shit real nigga shit your imagination of what could possibly be happening going through it <laughs> can eat you alive more than what actually happened oh yeah Pro- yeah and it's hard to it's i understand it's hard for us to like to trust in the word especially when like liquor and like clubs and niggas is involved that's a, that's a lot of factors in it i understand too many that. factors that's too hey many. listen listen <laughs> it's not even clubs and niggas though Nigga, no texting is crazy. <laughs> what? But nah. you gotta, you no gotta think she's just crazy. having fun. She drinking, she dancing. Like, like we different. We text because look, this is what this is how I. I wasn't texting my girl, but the reason why I wasn't texting my girl is the only is because my your, phone was at that time. Exactly. You don't think she was worried about you? No. Why not? Probably. I don't know. She nigga, she te- nigga, she texted. I don't think I. Th- she texted me like DM me through your Instagram and then unsent that shit. Oh. I remember that. I was like, I I, didn't, I just seen uh, he's like I just seen oh hey what's up and then I didn't see the rest because he deleted it. Oh, so she probably was just like she 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 nah, she called your mom nigga. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. Nah. It's just what she tells you. That's mm-hmm. certain. It's if you like you guys been to, you guys been together the same the same time as me and Jay being together. Okay, you know what I'm saying. I understand. There's a lot of factors that go into it. Nigga, bro, I have no, I have a, okay, okay. I don't, I, hey, me, I don't like mixy, a mixy female. I don't like girls too, too mixy. What do you mean, like? That's in the mix all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, That's in the yeah. club and shit all the time. Yeah. Nah, I need your ass to stay home sometimes, my nigga, at least. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like that shit. That's just me. See, I understand. That, hey, that's just me. But you gotta, but, all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But if you are out or whatever. Yeah. My nigga, text me sometimes, like at least a little bit, like three, going four or five hours without texting. Yeah, me that's kind of bad. It's crazy. That's kind of crazy. I would be now, nervous. now, now. You're just acting nervous, like right. you could do whatever the fuck you want, type shit. Yeah. Like that's crazy. That's four, four or five, five is crazy. Four or five is crazy. And then, and then once you, once you text it and be like, yo, you mad? Like you, you know, a little bit mad about that, nigga? Are oh, you insecure? Oh, are you this? Oh, are you that? I bet. Nah, she gaslight the hell out of you. Gaslight. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I hate gaslighting, bro. Yo, females <laughs> love doing that shit. You know my sister is 12 years old, bro? She gaslights you? She, she said, oh, I love gaslighting people. <laughs> it's in their blood, bro. Girls love doing it. I, I don't understand, bro. It's just, bro. Nah, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's re- yo, honestly, it is, bro. I, it's like the gaslighting. All right, it's, oh, well, it's not a problem, but it's like it happens, bro. Like you gotta, like once you got, let me. How do I explain this? It's like, think about when we go, when we go to, on trips and shit. Okay. Like we go to Philly, we go to another, whole other states for Hold days on. on. She called you. <laughs> Did she call you? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, what happened? She nah, me? let me not, bro. <laughs> Talk about something. My bad. My phone just came on. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm better. Like, all right, go ahead, bro. It's like you got like we like, especially for me. Jay, Jay was the same way with me when I used to hang out with y'all niggas, and like we either hang out at Jordan's crib or I go to Florida or we go to California. Like she was the same way. Like she used to, she used to be like like tweak on me sometimes. Okay, but you texted. Yeah. Tell me you ain't text. I did. Exactly. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all think y'all she, y'all y'all just don't shouldn't text and tell niggas you okay. I texted oh, you te- no, oh, right, texted text no, Oh, you text. Oh, my fault. I'm bringing it towards y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My nah, bad. She, nah, she, my no, bad. Like with I'm me, doing it like again. when like <laughs> like when I when I was doing on her, like the texting shit, like I was, that was just me because like I'm so used to her texting me back and forth. Yeah. But like I just like I understand now that like she just wants to like. Like I was thinking the same way you were, Fritz. I was thinking the same shit, but I'm just—I gotta understand. Like she just wants to have fun with her friends, and she wants to just be outside. Like she just wants to go listen to music, have fun with her friends. It's all good. 
This happens, bro. That's it's just- cool. That's that's cool, bro. That's cool with me. But like, you know, me, hey, like I told you, bro, you know, you getting drunk and shit like that, you know. And I'm a nigga, bro. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. You getting drunk and it's like you vulnerable type shit. Yeah. But you with your you, you know, you with your friends, which yeah. is cool. You with your friends, you vulnerable. So it's like niggas could Niggas is niggas. I, I just don't trust <laughs> niggas out here neither. I don't That's trust how, niggas out here. I don't trust I, friends. I'm gonna be honest with you. Why you don't trust guys? Because what you would do? Yeah, nah. No, because we see how niggas. I are. see how niggas. Yeah, I don't be outside. Nah, um, nah, nah, nah. But we got. Friends. I've been outside. Like we we niggas go to clubs <laughs> to find women. Well, she flipping it. Look at that. Yeah, is, it, is this guy's lighting? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Listen, Look. listen, listen. Jay, I've been outside, but it's like, it's not like I've, like, I've went, you know, to, I'm not like the most experienced club goer. That's what I'm saying. But my nigga, I've seen some shit, and not only that, I'm friends with some niggas. That's what I'm saying. That are, look, that's, that's, look, you feel me? Look, see, like, it's like this, right? Niggas. I ain't gonna call about it. <laughs> <laughs> when niggas go to a club, we try to look, they looking for girls. They're literally, they're literally, literally lurking for, females, for girls. Like There's lurking. no nigga in that club in there dancing. That's not. That's in there for the music. There's no. There's no to. fucking way. There's no there's way. There's no way in hell. Bro, what? Huh? With their friend group and not with the girls? Nah, that, nah. That's, that's not a thing. Hell no. Nah. For niggas, at least, it's not a thing. In 2023, I don't believe there it. There might be. There might be. I don't there know. Might, hey, but if you. But hey. the niggas that we've seen, Come at least on, the place that we. Nobody, so y'all were just at a club, though. Huh? What? What that mean? Nah, we're 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 the okay. exception. Okay. We are in a relationship. All right, there's probably some niggas in relationships that that you know. Yeah, they go. And not it. only that, if we if we wasn't with our friends, we wouldn't have probably go anyway. Yeah, went anyway. Like it's not me. And fr- I'm not gonna hit Fritz up and be like, "Yo, let's go to the club. let's go to the club." Like I'm not. I, I'm definitely not. Yeah, no, that, that that's pro- okay, okay. That's yeah. probably that. I didn't mean every single yeah, guy yeah. in there. But I didn't we're just mean saying, every single guy. We're just saying the majority, the majority is, is, is 90%. Is, yeah. But there's also niggas that do got girlfriends that, that be going. That still be there, going. That still be going for the bitches. I, I seen some I seen some <laughs> shit. I seen some shit. <laughs> I told shit. you I seen that motherfucker. Yeah, I seen some niggas shit. Well, um, well no. He's a- <laughs> <laughs> you just told me. She's a, she's a well. She's, <clears throat> he went. He went. To- he played. Oh. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. He was wow. in that motherfucker. Okay, so but I. Hey, but that, he, he was. I, I didn't see him when. The- I so I seen some shit on Shay Room yeah. where the guy, the guy talk about. I don't know if it's true. It's his shit, shit, but yeah, he talk about some. His man's just got married. Yeah. Niggas at the club. Yeah. Literally searching for females. Yeah. And the niggas talk about some, niggas talk about some, yo, why you doing that? I just paid for your wedding. I put my <laughs> money on your wedding. <laughs> niggas talk about some, uh, why you, oh, why you cock blocking? Why you doing See, now this? that's why weird, you, though. That's weird. That's there's weird. Niggas there's there niggas out there that, that, that do that. that. Oh, you see oh, that yeah. on Shade Room, right? Yeah, there's niggas out there's, here that's weird like that. There's niggas out there that's weird like that. I'm not like that. Me neither. You feel me? I'm, See, I be cooling. <laughs> I but I know some niggas. Listen, bro. I know some niggas who are. You feel me? I'm friends with some niggas. You so you know. Yeah, yeah. So see, that's the this, only reason why I know. See, look. This, this is the, the <laughs> main reason. Another reason why, like, I I, didn't, I don't be feeling comfortable going out a lot because I don't want like I don't be wanting her to feel like how I felt. Hell no! Nah, when she went out that one time, I don't give a fuck. The first time, wait, me? what you mean? You, don't give, you said you don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go out. Nah, I I don't think about my girlfriend when. Wait, hold on. Wow, that's <laughs> just not crazy. Okay, let me let me not say that. I don't think about like my girl's feelings when I go out type shit. I I mean I do. I don't do that because it's like she don't think about my feelings. <laughs> one, that's one, and second of all, I feel like that um. She not really worried uh, that I'm about to do anything in the first place. Oh, really? So, you think so? Mm-mm. So, you don't like... <laughs> <laughs> I always... <laughs> <laughs> huh? You see how she's about to... Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> what? I don't. I don't know why he. I, I'm good. Oh my god! <laughs> what did I do? Just because of yo. Like I always like that's like that's mainly what I like. Me, I don't like. I don't really like going out like that either. Cause like I don't like do, like that's not like my type of thing. Yeah. But it's like I always felt like how I was how I was feeling. I thought that she would be feeling that if I would have went out, especially yeah, if it was earlier. But I feel like I feel like because she uh went out she wants you to go out because now because now look now i just remember now because now right if i put myself in that environment now she's just thinking thoughts mm -hmm. of like bad things yeah what's going on and then if i tell her like no i didn't do that she won't like she might not believe me just like how you thinking in your head right now yeah and i didn't want her to think like that yeah but, that's why i didn't but put that's myself not how you think about right now though no, I mean, in the beginning, I was, like, thinking about it, like, maybe a little bit. But, like, that's just, like, the good or bad side of it. But yeah, but, I knew. All right, but if you were to go to the club, if I was like, yo, Darius, let's go to the club, let's, let's chill uh, right now. Um, I you're, not be, gonna, you're not going to, she's not going to, you, you're not going to think she thinks I mean, about that now. Nah, not, not now, because she, she be telling me to go. But sure, I would th exactly. I would still have it in the back of my mind, though. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, it's like, you're not there with me. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, like, straight up, like, yo, like yeah, I'm not doing another thing. But if like she thinks I am, it's like what like what proof do I got? But my yeah, word, there is no you know proof what I'm there, saying? But your word, facts. So like I like oh, that's where the trust thing comes from. Like you mm. gotta trust their word. Like you literally have nothing else bro, but your a, word. It, I, that, I don't that's like what I'm that trying that to tell you. Like either, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like you gotta have like the your word gotta be. I right. she said she didn't do it. I right, bet I didn't say I didn't do it. All right, that's that's how it is. But that it just comes with like oh look oh shit. Nigga, look at the message. <laughs> but yeah, bro, that's just how it is, bro. Especially like like the first time when it happened, like I was kinda like like I was mad. First two first two times. <laughs> right? It was first two times. First two times I was kinda mad. But then afterwards it was like it's like I I realized it's like, you know what, she just wants to have fun like with her friends and stuff like that. She really never got to like go out and experience some shit like that. So I'm like, it's all good. Like she like she let me do like she was the same way when I when we went to like Florida or went to Cali or uh, when I be hanging out with y'all niggas. She was the same way. It's like now it's like I feel like the roles like like switch. So it's just like you just gotta learn, like, you know, her word is your her word, my word is my word, this is how it is. Why did you feel that way then? What? Uh when we was going out. Uh, like when he would be in Florida. It wasn't a mad thing. It was like a attachment because we hung out every, every day. Week, yeah. Like when he left, it was like. Damn. What, do, what do you do? Yeah. 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 So so so, so but you you kind of uh, showed that you was tight mad though because of him being out or not, not because he was out or you he because was yeah just because of like I was like a jealousy type of thing. Oh, jealous. Yeah. Okay. Like I be, like I be feeling like that that way too sometimes. Like she be like when like like she like she be having fun. I'm like damn like that she like she's having hella fun without me. But like that's just yeah. how it is though. Yeah. Like it's okay if she has a little more fun with her friends than you. Like that's just like that's just how shit is. Yeah, no man. friends. Like, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> like, it's okay. joking. like it happens, bro. I'm joking. Yeah, no, no, no. But um. But you also gotta trust the you friend. Tru though. There we go. Yeah. You trust her friends, right? Yeah, I trust her friend. Fuck no, not See, me, bro. But in the beginning. I was I was a little iffy, just like how she was in the beginning. She was iffy nah, by y'all niggas. But 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 there is. You, iff, <laughs> you iffy with who? With me? Oh, yeah. All of us? I haven't showed enough. This nigga ain't do shit. I'm a real <laughs> nigga, bro. I'm a real. The way Fritz be talking. Fritz, what? Fritz uh, just be fake horny. Yeah, I be fake horny, bro. He <laughs> just be chilling. I be chilling. But anyways, bro. Um, I don't trust the friends, bro. You don't listen, bro. I don't like do her. But like, do like her it's not like I don't like them. Well, I don't like one of them. Yeah, but like, do do her friends like be cheating on their boyfriends and shit? Damn. Oh, motherfucker! Listen, bro. <laughs> hey, I ain't talking about it, bro. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about it. that. That's why. That's why I don't want to talk about it, bro. Like, hey, man. Like she be like she be like that. Don't got nothing to do with me. What yeah. I'm doing this and third. But at the end of the day. Influence is a thing. Influence was a thing. Influence is a it, peer pressure is a thing. That's why. I, that's why I love that girl, bro. Because <laughs> that girl, nothing, nothing will influence that motherfucker. Not even me. That's which, why you gotta look at you. Which, you gotta think about your girl. Is that, is that your type of girl, bro? No. Oh. Is that your type of girl? Like, is she like one to like follow the pack, or is she one to like? That's the thing. I don't shit go know left. That, like, no. I don't. I don't know. What you mean? You don't know. You've been with her for so long. Yeah, but 
It's not like I go out with her type shit. Like I don't know how she acts. So you gotta go out one time, bro. You gotta scout. That's what. Like, that's what real like, niggas. Like, <laughs> like I don't I know scouting, how she bro. acts. Like real shit. Like I feel like I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like I, I don't know if it comes with that. She's gonna be like. She's gonna be like. Well, it's not like I don't know. Yeah. I trust that. Yeah. If if, if it gets to that, she'd be like, Nah, I'm not exactly, doing that. Exactly. Yeah. Third. Mm-hmm. But because there are times when. Yeah, yeah. She's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, this yeah. Third. So it's like, I trust her with that, but there are probably hella other situations that I don't even know about she hasn't told me about. Yeah, look, like, bro. Jay told me. You know? She literally told me. She was like, because I was telling her, I was like, she was like, yeah, there was like five, six niggas curving. I was like, damn, you got a world record to this. The most <laughs> it ever been. Damn, <laughs> that's usually me too. Yo, yo, she said, nah, it's, it, it could have, there might be more, but like, I just don't tell you because I don't want, I don't want you to react to how it is. So I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. Be- I don't like that. At first, I didn't because now I'm overthinking. Like, what did you like? Do? Well, yeah, like why don't you tell me? Yeah, like, but now, like you already told me five, six niggas. Why aren't you telling me the rest? Because sometimes, like sometimes, they don't. We don't take it the right way. And it's just like if the shit like, like I feel, if the, what am I possibly going to do though, uh, bro? Maybe they just overthink it. They think you're going yard because they they didn't do it the way you want to do it. You know mm, what I'm saying? I guess. Like 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 for instance, uh, some nigga tried to talk to Jay or buy her a drink, or whatever, and she's like, she didn't say she had a boyfriend, but she said, oh, I'm I'm going out this girl right here. This is my girlfriend right here because okay. her friend's a dyke. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. She because she was a dyke. Okay. Because if she would have said she had a boyfriend, and then <clears> recently <throat> she's like, "Oh no, I have a boyfriend." And the nigga was like, the "Nigga said, oh, if I was your boyfriend, I'll never let you be outside by yourself. If you see it, I'll smack the shit out of you." Nah, nigga. don't cap, don't, don't. You wildin'. <laughs> now <laughs> you overstep your boundaries, bro. But, but, but you see, if I it, see if if it was if because her her friend wasn't there that day. Yeah. But if she was there, she he sees her. Okay, bet. Now we move on. Okay, you know so, what I'm saying. All right, so and when when she told me that the first time, I was kind of mad because she didn't say she had a boyfriend, but I didn't understand that's that what like that's what would happen. Okay. So that's a better answer, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And yeah, let's do shit like that. All right, so I'm not saying that that this happened to y'all. Yeah. But if your significant other, like who you with, yeah, has lied to you multiple times, or 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 you know a couple of times, yeah, would you? Get, still have that trust in them? Would I have... All right, what are the lies? Is the lies like... It's... What if it's some lies that you don't even have to lie about? Oh, like something... Uh, nah. I feel like... no. Nah, honestly, I feel like I, I wouldn't be that mad. I would still trust them because if it was that bad that they're lying about it, I don't think nobody could hold that in for a certain amount of time. Like, the truth is always going to find its way out, bro. You always... The truth, the truth is always going to find its way no, out. Fuck no, bro. I don't believe that, bro. At least for me, if it's that bad, like I like for me, I tell Jay everything. You said you it. said if it's that bad, the truth they can't or, hold it in. There's there's no there's no bitches, way. bro. Not nah, bitches. Wow, <laughs> females take shit to the grave, my nigga. There's no way you dead ass. Okay, they, okay. That's that that that's where that's where niggas talk. That's why they get caught cheating. <laughs> niggas talk. Niggas tell. Niggas tell. Yo, I just fucked some bitches. Like that. They, they niggas tell. They girl. They girl tell. Whoever, bro. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And then it gets to her. Niggas start talking. Niggas really think, start talking. You think a, females, females take precaution, bro. You think, when it comes to cheating. But you know how much of a burden that is on your chest, bro. Some bitches don't give a fuck. <laughs> like what the honest, hell, bro? Okay, that's, that's you're a good guy. Honest, you're a good guy. <laughs> so I know you'd be oh, fucking having a heart attack every damn day. They don't. They probably taking shit to the grave. Like this is regular. You but know you, people why, has had relationships before you. Yeah. They've probably been doing it before you. I understand, but you got to think about the person you're with, bro. You got to know, like, if, like, you got, you could tell. Bro, honestly, bro, you know what I'm I can't even tell nowadays. I ain't going to lie to you, Are you, you sure? bro. Like, you really can't? I can't, bro. Because, like, like, I know, I know Jay. Like, I know what, like, like, we always talk about this. Like, she know I can't keep no secret. She knows she can't keep no secret. Like, we always tell her, each other everything, good or bad, whatever. So it's just like that's just how like you gotta trust in your, like I said trust in your partner, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Cause bro. like you know like once you be with them a lot, like you see like you could just you see how they are, and with the, how they are with certain shit. There's no 
there's there there probably are female. There, those are bro, evil girls in this females, world. Females, bro, they take shit to the grave, my nigga. What? Those are evil girls in this Come world on, that son. cheat on their niggas and they can they can hold that shit in. That's evil, nigga. What? I don't think I, only a handful of niggas could probably do that shit, nigga. Only a hand, nigga, bro. When maybe, a nigga, bro. All right, bro. Hold on. When a, if a, if something happens to a nigga or whatever, like if you cheat on it, niggas gonna low key tell like they mans or something. Yeah, uh, it's up to your man's if um word gets out. That's really it though. Mm-hmm. Like, but, like that shit. That shit will eat at some people, bro. I can't do that. Listen, shit. I'm not saying I'm the most perfect nigga, bro. Yeah, I got I got shit that I need to work on. Yeah, but I feel like if I ask you for like one thing or some. And that's, you know, a form of communication type shit. Yeah, yeah. If I ask you for that, why am I not getting it? And is she I, trying you, or is it she not? Fuck no. Or she's nigga. not trying at all. Come on, son. <laughs> did you ever, t- you told her about it? Like, how many times nigga, you told her what? about it? I tweaked last night, bro. Oh, you did? Oh. Nigga, I told her, bro. I was like, I was like, bro, I don't, I ain't even trying to be with you for real, bro. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I was like, bro, I'm not trying to be with you. Like, I'm not trying to, like. Do it, uh, bullshit. Because I'm like, bro, you want me to female females? Oh, I'm not gonna say females, but some females want you to be this. Want you to want you to give you this, that, whatever they yeah. want. Yeah, something. nigga, you ask for one thing, you know I can't get it. You not getting shit. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, bro. That's just that's just it's at, at the end of the day we have to uh what's that word compromise? Yeah, compromise. We have to compromise. Compromising is in the in is in everything. Yeah. It's in everything, bro. Yeah. So if I can't get nothing, but I have to give you all of this, it's not how that works. <laughs> it's not how that works, and I'm not gonna work like that. Has your girl always been going out, or she? This is like her. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Um, or she just started. Nah. So, I mean, probably in the beginning or whatever. But I didn't really care. Mm-hmm. It was the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really how you. That's how you should be. Yeah, I, I, like twenty nineteen. I was. I was going out. Yeah, like, like, really like. Which, but yeah, but yeah. Um, there was phases. Yeah, like she barely even went out. Type shit. She barely went out. Type shit. Yeah. Which I like. But if she wants to go out, cool. Yeah. But I don't like. Listen, at at some point. It's not really about her going out. At, like, sometimes it's not. Yeah. Sometimes it's about her and who she's with. I understand. That that That's really what it is with me. Like, sometimes it's really about her and who she's with. Mm-hmm. And that's where, that's where uh, you're not texting and shit like that. that that's where I kind of get a little iffy. Yeah, I get you. You got to put trust in not only your girl, but the people she's with. And but the you, can she never, you can never trust your, her friends, though. Can never trust. I'll never trust. Do your girl trust us? Trust us? Hell no. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no. Not even me. She probably will trust you a little bit. What? Probably the fuck? a little bit. But there's, if I did some wild shit, you telling my girl? Oh yeah, yeah. Same thing both ways. I ain't gonna lie. What? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know what you mean. You you not telling my girl? Yeah. You better not tell my girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. So therefore. Exactly. That's the same thing both ways. That is they, true. That's the same thing. You both can't. Ways. You can't trust. You can't trust. You can't trust us. They not gonna trust us. You, I'm not trusting you. <laughs> you not my friend. You <laughs> haven't been with me. You. You. I don't. I haven't. I don't know you for like ten years. But I, now, I, I didn't go to high school with you. I understand, bro. I've had a friend be like, "Fritz, I wouldn't <laughs> lie to you, Fritz. I've been, bitch." <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> you would. You would lie to me straight that's, to my face. That's, I wouldn't lie to you. That's I don't what lie I'm to you, Fritz. T- I know, yeah, I know. That, that's how it is, bro. But now what you're. Fuck, but don't don't think that's happening. Now this is where the imagination comes in. Don't think that's what's happening at the at that moment. That should just go eat you up. Now I I kind of uh, got this habit. I kind of uh, brought up this habit now as to um. I, I don't think about that now. Yeah. I don't think about that. Um. I'm I'm starting to not really think about that no more and be like, uh, she probably doing this. I'm not letting my imagination like uh take over type shit. That's what I'm saying, though. I'm I'm just at this point, I ain't gonna lie. If it happens, it happens. 
<laughs> to me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, that, that's yeah. where I'm at right now. Uh, Except <laughs> beat. To me, right now, if it happens, it happens. That that's how I think about yeah. life. Because at some point, you can't really control it. Yeah. And uh, there's some which I trust my girl. Mm-hmm. I don't like. I know I sound like <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah, but I, know, I, I do. do. It's just the it's communication just, part. I understand. That's, that's just, the thing that blows yeah. my shit, bro. It, that was mine too. Like I, like I, like I want, like I would yeah, want. But like, my nigga, an hour is nothing compared to five. I, yeah, I know. Like, like I want, I want to know what she was doing. I want to know where she was going at, who she was with, yeah, who, who where the niggas at, yeah, where niggas yeah. try to talk. I want all that, yeah, like, because that's something I would do, yeah. But like, I gotta remember, she not she me, not you. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. She not me. So exactly. it took me a minute I to mean, realize. I that. wouldn't do that neither. Listen. I, I'm. I wouldn't do that. I would. I tell you, that's everything. I, I wouldn't do that, but maybe it's because I expect that shit, and I feel like um, I shouldn't expect that shit. Yeah, that's, but, that's the same but shit. F- but four, four, like I said, four or five hours is is not good. Yeah, that's that's. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not. Nah. That's um. Like, especially when you talk to somebody so many times, bro. Yeah. It don't even make no sense. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. The dumb shit. Any interaction I have like with a woman, I I be telling Jay, bro. That weird? Weirdo. That yes, weird? That's weird. Oh, yes. So I shouldn't do it? Uh, no, you, like I said, bro. <laughs> that's just me, though. I do just feel, what you I gotta just, do, bro. I just feel like that's just, like, in my heart, it's just like, like I don't want to think, like, but that, maybe what that, you, maybe, what is she thinking? I don't she know. Don't know. But that's what I'm saying. That's that's maybe what I, I do that because I expect her to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why I do it. See, that's the thing. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Like, what does that like? Yeah. I was in the, I was in the club. No, I was in the bar with Joe, and I'm like, Joe, don't show this. Like, don't. Like, why is he even telling you that? And I was like, I don't know. I just be like, yo, like, what the fuck, bro? I don't know, nigga, just be record every step of the way that you got. like. Who gives a fuck, Darius? Uh, hey, I'm just, just saying, bro. <laughs> just making sure, bro. So just cut. That's weird. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's, that's kind of weird. You're you're a weird guy, but <laughs> hey, it's it's who you are. So I'm not hey, even bro. gonna knock you on it. Type shit. That's pretty weird though. Like I, I I would I'm not telling my girl if I like unless it's like something crazy like like oh this girl came up to me talk about some shit. Oh yeah, yeah. obviously yeah of course. My nigga, if I said nigga, I seen. I don't, I don't fucking I know. I can't understand. I don't even know how they equip it. Like, yeah, I don't even. I just, that's so crazy. I understand, bro. Yeah. Weird nigga. I, I don't know, bro. <clears throat> Damn. So, yeah, bro. This, don't let the imagination eat your life, bro. Imagination always seems worse than reality, bro. Because you always make it worse. Because you make it worse than what it really is. So, when it happens, you're not as shocked mm-hmm. type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, just be like, oh, never mind. It's not that bad. That's how I remind you. Mind is a powerful thing, bro. Now, after 50 minutes of <laughs> of therapy, <laughs> we've been doing a lot. Has it really been 50 Yeah, minutes? it's been 51, 5140 right now. Wow. I, I got a question this. for you. Since yeah. this pertains to that, which one would you rather do? Never have sexual intercourse for the rest of your life or have the greatest coochie of your life from <laughs> your girl, oh. but, you di- <laughs> but you die immediately afterwards? Die? Yes, like as soon like it could be it could be as long as you want, but not like not like forever. But it could be like as long as you want, you could as the long best as you want, the best ever, the best ever. But you literally die bro, as soon as the shit come out. I don't bro. think I'm dying of a coochie. Oh, you that? Oh, I bet <laughs> that's what I was about to say, guys. But no, losing my life over that. Literally, your life is crazy. Because I think I seen that from uh. What? Um, what's that show? A thousand ways to die. Yeah, what? A nigga died after getting some coochie? Yeah, he died in the bedroom. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, I think he had like a. He took too much like like Viagra or something. Probably some shit. Yeah, and his heart. He had, he had a heart, heart attack. Yeah. So all right, so you go no, no sexual intercourse for the rest of your no life. No sexual. I, I I beat my shit. No, like I'm talking about like your shit Wait, don't get hard, bro. Oh wow! Like you like you got erectile dysfunction. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, right? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I don't think, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm cool off that. I feel like I feel. You think you gonna have like withdrawals in the first be- like the first like month? The first month gonna be difficult. You think you'll be? Oh good? hell yeah! Yeah, the first month gonna be the first couple months gonna be bad. But I feel like I'll get used to it after a while. Yeah, you'll probably get used to it. But wait, hold on. Okay, <laughs> so my shit's just straight soft. Yeah, soft forever. 
But yeah, that's crazy. I feel like you get used to it after a while. Like after like after maybe. So I can't nut at all. Nah. I know that's crazy. So yeah, I'll do it though. I do that though. Not for my life though. Yeah, for life, my life is crazy. Is crazy. But and then I was yo I was think I was uh, watching some shit the other, today, bro. They was talking about Mormons. And, you know we we know Mormons. We we had friends that were Mormons. Did we? Hendrix. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know he was a Mormon. No. Didn't you play basketball at his church? Yeah. That was a Mormon church. I didn't realize. Okay, so <laughs> the one thing about Mormon Mormon religion is that you can't have sex until you get married. Right. That guy's not Mormon. No, nah, yeah, yeah. He's that. He got he got banished. I don't know. I don't know. I was just jealous. But like, yo, but now, right? But what they do in like, you know, so Utah is, there's a lot of Mormons live in Utah. Like, I think maybe the population is like 85% is Mormon. Wow. So there's Mormon college. Like, you know, BYU where Jim and Fred Dent went? Yeah, yeah. That was a Mormon college. Okay. So what they try to do to get around that <laughs> is like, so you can't like have sex with a woman, but it's like, say it's a man, a dude and a girl, right? And he just puts his shit in her, and there's another friend like under the bed, just move like like just moving the motion that doesn't count. Huh? Yes, bro. So the bed has to move. No, say like say like he's like you're not thrusting. He's thrusting, he's thrusting for, thrusting for you. you. Exactly. Yeah. That doesn't count. How does that not count? I, in their religion, because say, you're not doing because you're not doing the basically. action. You're literally just like you but just isn't. There. But you putting your shit in her isn't that part of the action? It's. It's like a technicality. It's technical because okay, you're not so doing it because you're just he's literally just standing there like so this. So basically, the art, the 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 art of sex for them is like the motion, the motion, and like yeah, doing all that shit. I don't. That makes no sense, but that's their religion. Nigga, they be I, you know they said there's like a there was like a nigga there's like a nigga under the bed or there's like a nigga on top and he's just like like pushing, <laughs> pushing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that's crazy though. Isn't that shit heavy? Like, that's two people in one bed. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you got to, like, you that's, sweating out there, that's bro. That shit not weird? That's weird as hell to me, but, hey, that's just Yo, if, if we was more, you got me, bro? I got you. Oh, you got nah, me? I got you. You a real nigga. No, I swear to God, I got you. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. I was thinking about you. Nah, that's just crazy. Yo, just imagine. Nah, that's bad crazy. Like, <laughs> what if, what if, what if, what if nigga on top be like, yo, like, fast do it faster? <laughs> nah, I got you, bro. I got you. Don't worry, that's bro. Crazy. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my god, I heard that's really common. Like that's how they finesse it. Really? Yeah, it's really common. That's yeah. That's that's. Bro, that's when I heard that shit, I said, "What, bro?" I, I would do it. You want to do it for me? No, I got you, bro. Oh, all right. I you got, got you, me. Out, yeah, man. I got you. I got you, bro. No, bro. I got you, bro. Nigga, shit. Nigga, shit. You got to, man. Nigga, I don't even know how you come up, like how you finesse, how you that? finesse that, or how you bring bring that up to your man's. Be like, bro, I'm gonna need you to do this. That means them niggas must be horny, horny. Nah, they have to. Come on, they have to. Yeah, be. that's bad. They probably. I don't know if it's is porn is born like watching porn like Yeah, I think that yeah. It's forbidden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see they low key probably do that. Yeah. On a download and and shit, they That's what I'm saying. You know? It's that's, like damn, I need that. That's so bad. Come on, bro. That's that's too crazy. Like whoever started that is crazy, bro. But, <coughs> I got another would you rather question, right? So, which one would you rather try to survive? You have to tr try to survive being chased by a group of lions for 2 miles. But you get a hundred foot head start and you're on a bike. Mm, I don't think that makes that. that. Mm -mm. Or try to survive being hunted down by a random assassin for a week, but you have someone to help you. I'll definitely. Oh, a week. A week. I'll do that. You do that. I think a line don't a line go uh, go up to like thirty. Thirty miles per hour. I don't think he's still, like if my adrenaline pumping. I think I'm I'm zooming on that bike, bro. I don't think so. I think I could hit like twenty five thirty on that bike, bro. You like said a hundred mile, a hundred, a hundred foot, foot like foot. head start. Okay, a hundred foot. So once you get to a hundred feet, then they'll let the the lions go. But lions not no damn cheetah though. Like a lion is tight. Like it's probably like three, four, five, like maybe four or five lions. I don't think they're gonna really like. I can swerve them a little bit, bro. Nah, you don't think so, bro? A, assassin, you don't even know what the nigga look like. Oh, that's true. That's what I'm saying. Like, nah, the, let let us know what he look like at least. All right, it's a dude. It's a dude. You know, it's but a guy. you know his face. 
No, like you you know it's a guy. Come on, bro. What you mean? All right. You know it's a guy. Like that nigga might fucking. But you have someone to help you. What yeah, if someone. It's... You can pick. Oh, if what if the, he's the assassin? Nah, the guy's not the assassin. Or, that's that's or, too crazy. Or what if? Okay, is there someone to help you? Like, actually like, knowledgeable. You can nah, like your like your friends or something. Nah, like oh yeah, then I'm doing the lying thing. <laughs> None of my friends are. I'm I'm gonna die. You're going to die? Yes. Or what if I say like an FBI agent? That'll help. That will help? Yes. Okay. Something that, somebody that is actually knowledgeable. But like, what if you, like, literally you can't eat nothing? Nigga, what that nigga poisons your food? A week? A week? Like, you got like, bro, you know, you ever seen like a assassin's teapot, bro? My nigga, I will not eat for a week. You cannot, you can't go without eating for a week, Yes, you can. That's a long ass time. You're going to be starving. All you need is water. And I'll prepare mad water. You can't go a couple of days worth without water or nigga, something. I'm you could go like a month without eating, I feel like. Bro. Can't you? I think so. I don't know if it's a month. I don't know. I, I think it's a it might be a little bit. Jay, you know I how think, long it goes? How long you can't how long it takes for you to like start dying if you don't eat? What you, what would your guess be? Like two weeks? A month. A month? Yeah. I don't know. Up to three weeks, three almost weeks? a month, after they stop eating. You can't go a couple of days or, or a week without but I, water. But two miles, bro? I could get two miles down. Then no, I, I feel like I'm going to do the line thing. you do a line thing, though? Yeah, okay. I'm going to be honest. Because I feel like I could get that two miles, like, type easy. But I don't think you're swerving a lion I'm not. A yeah. You're not doing no, it. Don't, I don't think so. Honestly, I'm, there is. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think you're that tough on a bike, and not only that, once the line... All they need to do is hit a wheel. And, and you're you, done? And you're done. <sighs> Real nigga shit. I just and not only that, th- how fast you going, and if they hit the wheel, you fall, the impact on the ground going to fuck you up a lot too. And you're I'm not dead. getting up. you dead not getting up. I'm, I'm getting, getting more by lines. And then now you're getting more by lines. But that's but I feel like I got to survive I, a week of yeah, assassin? Yeah, that's crazy. But I feel like I'll, I'll probably do the lines. Then. I'll take my chances. But I don't know. But I'll take my chances. You take your chances. Yeah, but I don't think I'm a. I'm a. Uh, you're putting you're putting your bet on adrenaline. Yeah, I really. I am. don't know if I could do that. I'm really putting all my shit on adrenaline, my nigga. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. What's uh, that's hard though. I think I would. I'd probably do a lion thing though. In all honesty. Like yo, like even I be hearing stories about lion attacks, bro. Like you heard about those two lions. In Africa, that killed that there was. I think they was building like a road or a bridge in Africa, and there was literally two lions that would like come at night and just kill like the workers. Really? Because they're like building on their land. Like they killed like forty, like forty niggas. Oh, I didn't even. And know they that. didn't know where the fuck like what was happening. Like they would keep bringing like more people back in. They'll keep bringing like like more workers to fix the bridge, but they keep going missing because them niggas was like literally hunting them down. I didn't even know that. Like like a movie type shit. Nah, that's crazy. But I heard the only animals that really hunt down like humans are crocodiles and tigers. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, I think I heard crocodiles is crazy. Yeah, crocodiles is very like cro- crocodiles will wait for you mm-hmm. to like drop yeah, it. Yeah, they really like stalk you. Like there was a story about a kid. I think he was in like oh, I was like listening on Joe Rogan. There was a kid. He um, I think he was like crab fishing. And he was like in the water, and then a crocodile grabbed him, bit him by his arm, did the death row, broke his arm and his leg. Oh, I think I did. I think I did hear that. Yeah, and then they brought him back to the village, and they did, they were just gonna let him die mm. because like they didn't have nothing to like yeah, save him. Save him yeah. So like he was bleeding out, but then they had to like <coughs> save him and shit. But I'm like, yo, imagine like we live in a good life, bro. We are. We live in a good life because there's niggas that they got. They have to do that shit. Like they, they gotta defend themselves off animals. I can't, bro. I can't do that. I right. die. That's what I'm saying, bro. No cat. Like. Like, there's niggas that really be going around, like, the world, and they're not even scared of this shit no more. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just used to it. Like, I feel like they're used to, like, it happening. Yeah. So, oh, they're yeah, not, they are. So, they're Most like, definitely. They probably, like, honestly, they they start young. Yeah. They start doing it, like, probably as they're born, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, like as soon as they probably hit, like, the ages from 7 to 10 or something. Yeah. They probably start them and train them. Like, train them early. They probably, yeah, like, they show them real-ass animals and mm-hmm. show them how to defend themselves off of them, how to, like, I guess, distract them. Yeah. You know? They, they like, really do that. Because, like, in, in Haiti, is there any, like, animal that can really kill people like that for real? Yeah, that Haiti? you know of? Nah, not that I know of. Because I know in the Philippines, there's a lot of crocodiles. Really? Like, there was, I don't know if you ever seen on Animal Plant, there was, like, a big-ass crocodile that they caught. 
that it, his name was like low long. It was in the Philippines. The nigga was like 20, 20, 25 foot long crocodile. Oh, that's crazy. Like his head was the size of like, like a little, it was bigger than the chair, like the length of it, his head. Really? Yes. Like there's a video of it. And like, I think I talked about it before. They tied him up and put him on, they're, they're in the Philippines, like in the rice paddies, like in the forest, yeah. in the in the jungle. Yeah. They tied, they caught him. They tied the nigga up, like they tied his back up and they tied, they put him on a little cart and he was like knocked out. And then he woke up, started shaking. Nigga broke the whole shit open, bro. Like, it was a monster. Oh, that's crazy. Like, it was like... And they don't even think that's the one that was killing all the people. There's another There's one, There's a probably. bigger one than that. Oh, they just couldn't find him. that's OD. That's what I'm saying. They got... Like, in the Philippines, there's hella bad. Yo, like, how can you not find something that's, like... That big. That big. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's like, they crazy, said there's something though. that's even, like, maybe 30 foot. 30 foot crocodile is crazy. It's nuts. That's too... That's, a, that's Yo, huge, like, why bro. is that even, even the thing? And, like, in the Philippines, they got, like, monkeys and shit like that. Like, it's kind of cool. Like, 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 you know how we have squirrels and, like, raccoons? They have monkeys. Yeah. Like, well, running around the street. They run in, like, gangs. Really? Yeah, like, you'll just see, like, a group of, not like, monkeys. Chimps, right? Nah, not chimps. It's like, little, it's like the little monkeys that you have as pets. Okay. Like, they're, like, they're, like this big. Hard. Yeah, it's kind of cool. One of them. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but, like, they, I think they got, like, they're, like, type, like, rabbit or something like that. Oh, Some okay. of them could yeah, have rabies. They're not house. Yeah, yeah, they're not house things. So, yeah. That's and then, yo, like, I know I was, this is, this is random, but I remember I was watching, I was reading a story about a guy. <clears throat> Did you ever watch that movie called. 30 seconds or less, I think. It's with that... When he got uh, trapped in a... Did he get trapped in a rock? No, no. No, no, not that one. It was about... It's it's two guys. It was the guy from the um, the social experiment, the the Bill, the Bill Steve Jobs movie. Did you ever watch that one? The social experiment with Steve Jobs? All right, you ever watched... Um, You watched Zombieland? Yeah. You know the one... What's that? Not, Is he the cowboy? Not the cowboy, the other dude. Damn. The other white dude. You know what I'm talking about? He got curly hair. Is his name Columbus? I don't know, but do you know what I'm talking about? Though I think I do know. Look, look up Zombie Land. I can't, I can't put a, I can't put a picture on him. Look, a, because there was a movie about two guys. It was him and an Indian dude, and they get they get captured by like these like gang members. And he oh this guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. search up Jesse Jesse Elsenberg yeah the nigga that that was from Now You See Me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. look up Thirty Seconds or Less. I think that's what the movie's called. I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes or less. Okay. Do you see like you see that movie? Did you ever nah, see that movie before? I don't, I don't think so. All right, so that movie is basically about like those two guys, they get they're like they're just normal like pizza delivery men. Mm -hmm. And they get they get uh kidnapped by these like these gang members and they put a bomb on them. They was like, "Yo, you got to do what we say. Go rob this bank." Like you ever seen that meme when the niggas come in like, "Yo," and they have the mask and they're like, "Yo, put your it's a funny movie. Like, "Yo, put your hands up." Like but they they're not really trying to rob a bank. They just have to. Or if they don't rob the bank, they're gonna explode it. Okay. So that that shit was based off a true story. Really. Like so like so basically, it was in I think August twenty eighth in two thousand three. There was a guy named Brian Wells. He was a pizza delivery man, and he's doing like you know his normal like routine delivering pizzas. Yeah. So he gets kidnapped. At like the per the person that he delivered the pizza to, they take him in, kidnap him, knock him out, and he strap a bomb on his neck. And they was like, all right, you have to do the scavenger hunt for us, right? The first task on the scavenger hunt was to give us get $250,000. I don't care how you do it. Just get us the money. The nigga, li he lives in Erie, Pennsylvania. So that's like 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 far, like far basically farmland. Yeah. So he goes to a PNC bank and he gives them a note and says, and like there's video of him like with the bomb on his neck. What? But like he has like a hoodie on like or like a big shirt so you really can't see it. He's like, he's like, I have a bomb on my on my neck right now. Like I need two hundred fifty thousand dollars, but the bank only had eight thousand dollars to give him. Wait, what? Because banks don't really be yeah, holding a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. That's true. So the bank, so they gave him the eight thousand dollars. So he had to find out how to get the other money. But as soon as he walked outside, the cops was already there, and they surrounded him. So he couldn't like he couldn't go nowhere. Yeah. And he was like, "Yo, please, please." Like, I just need to get the money so I can live. There. I got a bomb on my neck. And he was like, they weren't listening to him. They like, yo, relax. They're thinking, like, he's like kamikaze. Like, he's doing this. Yeah, so he's like, nah, yeah. bro. Like, I'm not doing this. not me. And, like, he just, he realized, like, yo, like, I'm not going to get out of this. So he just sat there and started crying and trying to, he's like, yo, like, help. Like, help me get this shit off my neck, please. And the cop, before the bomb squad came, the shit started beeping. That shit exploded, bro. Killed him. Are you serious? Yes, the nigga died. The first, like, he was supposed to go on a whole scavenger hunt to get, like, the shit nigga died first run, bro. Did they find the people? Yeah, it was, it was like, a couple. I, I think it was, like, Marjorie Armstrong and Kenneth something. And they, they, there, it was, like, I think it was, like, two or three people. 
they ki- it was like a, and they kidnapped him and they, they sent him on this whole shit. What's his name? Brian Wells. Brian Wells, yeah, bro. Nah, that's crazy. I, I that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Bro, the nigga was just deli- just doing his job, delivering pizzas, and he fucking died, bro. Like just imagine, like just Im- bro. The first task was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Just imagine what the rest is, my nigga. Nah, that's crazy. Imagine he would have got the two fifty k. What else he got to do? He probably got to fucking steal like a, a yeah, Brinks truck like, or some shit. Yeah, hella shit. But if that was you, what are you doing first? I'm not going to no goddamn PNC bank. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to like Bank of America. Or yeah, Wells I'm Fargo's. going to whole like a big ass bank. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Wells Fargo's. Or if like I'm in, my my Wells, yeah, I'm gonna go to that. Like eight thousand. That's so ass. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I've been I've been like when I was I'm like I've been like. <sighs> but but think about it though. They alerted the people. Yeah. That they alerted the cops. Mm-hmm. Where what else am I supposed to do? I know, and they didn't even give them that much time. To they didn't even it. give them that much time. Like you know, the the banks have you know emergency yeah, yeah, buttons, buttons on the yeah. bunch. She probably the person probably alerted them as soon as, soon as you seen as them. soon as she seen like the note. Yeah, bro. She gave them the money. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like you really at, at some point you can't do nothing. Even in the movies, it makes it seem like you do it, but like you really cannot. You do that can't. Shit. You can't. But if I'm in Vegas, especially if the the cops are surrounding you like that, like and, and um. It's probably on TV. Yeah. Televised. It was it was the on niggas, the news. Huh? It was on the news. Niggas was probably seeing that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this nigga not gonna make it. Like, like you remember in you remember in Batman, the Batman movie? Yeah. How that nigga had the shit around his neck? When he drove into the church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that's how the shit looked. Exactly. Looked just like that. I'm not gonna lie, if I was in Vegas though, I'm running it up. I'll get two fifty K easy. How? Like I'm going in them casinos. They got the casinos got all the bread. No, I know, but how? But, yo, they gotta, love their bread. I understand. Like, that, that, you, do you love your bread? You love your customers. Okay. Yeah. Like, just, I'll give the, your money will be back soon. Don't worry. Two hundred fifty k. I got this bomb on my neck. I need help, please. And I'm just gonna walk out. I'm like, yo, cops. If the cops stop me, I'm like, yo, do you want me to die or do you want all these people to die? Do you want me and all these people to die, or do you want me just giving? One, Did or, anyone else get injured? Nah, he was like farther he was far away. Far away, yeah. yeah. I think the bomb wasn't as big enough to like, ex- like he is, oh, it was literally just to kill this nigga. Just bro. yeah, it was literally just to kill him. Damn, that's a terrible way to die. I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah, bro. That's awful. Uh, uh nigga, I would have, ooh, I would have fucking. That's so bad, bro. I mean, honestly, that's not bad to me. That's bad, nigga. What you literally just was a pizza delivery guy. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's an awful way to die. Yeah. Well, that's awful that he died that way because he's trying to, you know, do his job. And yeah, shit. yeah. But I'm saying the way that he died. At least he wasn't like. Tortured or nothing? Yeah, I get you. you yeah, know, that that would suck. What torturing? Do you think is worse, bro? What? Yeah, torture. Oh yeah. But like, I mean, there's like people that are trained for that shit, like the like the armies and shit, like like. Yeah, but nigga, come on, bro. Yeah, not a normal nigga can. Normal yeah. niggas like I. That's shit crazy, bro. Like being tortured. I just hope that shit don't. Hey, and it'd be crazy. Like you ever watch? Did you watch Money Heist? No, nah, I never watched it. But there, all right, there was a scene in Money Heist. Are you gonna watch it? Like, do you care about for it? No, nah, I don't care for it. There was a scene in Money Heist where, I guess they got they got one of the bank robbers, and they t- interrogated him. They literally put him in a box, and he literally just p- pissed and shit on himself. Really? He couldn't. He didn't leave that box, and like when they found out, they told like because like yo, do you realize that our government, like the CIA and them, there's like they probably got like black sites. Like there's a place there's a there's a secret island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. It's called Diego Garcia, right? It's literally that's what it's called, wow. and it's for the CIA, right? And they sub and in 2008, Times Magazine put out an article about Diego Garcia Island, saying like that's where the CIA brings all of its like people to torture, to torture. and like interrogate and shit like that. But they also thought that they're doing like the CIA is doing experiments underneath the island because it's a little ass island. So they think they're doing like government experiments or whatever under mm-hmm. it. And like, did you ever hear like the Malaysian flight 370 that went missing? Yeah. So they think that the Malaysian flight 370 didn't like disappear. It landed, it landed on, on the, there on and they took flight. the people off that plane and tortured, tortured them damn. and did experiments on them. And the reason why they think that is because there was a there was an IBM employee, right? That was on that plane. But he posted a picture 10 days after the plane like, I don't think he posted a picture or some picture came up online of, I don't know what the picture was. It was just like a random, like, like picture. Like, say you take a picture in your pocket. It was some random shit. And I think it came, I think the picture came, yeah, it came after, like, the the plane disappeared. Because he was on that plane. So, he disappeared with that plane. 
So 10 days after the picture came up and people started dissecting it and they seen like, you know, you can like, you can go like see where the picture's been taken. Mm-hmm. They said it's been taken on that island. Like, if you look at the coordinates, it was on that island. So that's why they people think that you fucking landed on that shit. Damn. But like nobody knows. Not, bro, of course. Yo, I believe I, I believe all that shit, bro. I believe that people, uh, the government or whatever, they have uh, obviously secret spots where they have to do their shit. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they take care of their shit, bro. Especially like, you know, with terrorists, terrorists and shit like that, they mm-hmm. they definitely do, like, fly them somewhere. Obviously, they're not gonna do everything, you know, in front of people. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hide it. You gotta hide it. That's why I be saying like the government definitely has secret like yeah, islands. They got multiple. Multiple, like you see how big that the ocean is, like the Come Indian on, Atlantic Ocean. Yes. There's definitely little ass islands, or they made little bases on the water, and they don't tell people that's where you t- take them. Hell yeah, they probably got some shit in the desert, got some shit in the water, they got some shit in Antarctica, they got some shit everywhere, bro. Bro, they gonna find their way. If they, if they want to find something, they gonna find it. They never, they never like, they never do shit in the in in everybody in front of everyone's eyes. They not gonna do that to cause, you know. Hella shit, you know, you yeah. know, you know how people gonna react. Yeah, they're not gonna do that. Yeah. So obviously they're gonna do shit behind closed doors, and continue the image that they've always continued. That yeah. they're just all good. It and, just, and, it's just, come on, bro. It's just crazy how it's like, like that's what really niggas. That that's what real people. That that's what people really do for real. Like yeah. to get the information, they do anything. They really try to like like torture, torture. is crazy. Torturing is. It's crazy. Who do you think? But, what country do you think has like the worst like torture? Damn. Like who? Japan probably. You some, think so? Some, some somewhere in Asia, bro. Like North Korea or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or may, what about Russia? I feel like Russians are very Russia probably ruthless. Crucial, I ain't gonna lie. Like ruthless. Like nah, they probably. Oh, they probably wild. They probably it. bad, especially up there. You're not gonna find nobody in Serbia or something yeah, they like that. They probably wild. Like in the like in the in the woods of Russia, you probably not gonna find nobody in the mountains. You're not gonna find nothing, bro. Yeah, they probably be wildin'. That's what I'm saying, bro. But um, that's why I feel like spies, like spies and like undercover agents, like you gotta go, like you have to, you know, they go through like torture training. training. Yeah, they got all that shit. They literally go send them to an island to get tortured so they don't say nothing. Like you have to prepare. Yeah, I'm. Damn. That's Just crazy. imagine that's you, and they take you to that island, and they they show you every torture they know. And then once you get captured, it's some completely different shit you never did. Yeah, it's like it's like whoa, 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 whoa. whoa wait, hold on, what's this? I, I was not traded for this. Wait, what the hell? The fuck is that thing? Where's that go? <laughs> like what the fuck? Like I said, bro. There's, I mean, even back in the day or something like that, there was mad crazy torture, like torture, the, torture devices. Torture, yeah, devices. Yeah. yeah, I heard there was like where people um, would get pulled, uh, but put inside. I don't know this. Uh, I don't know this metal bullet. Oh something. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then they, uh, they light on fire. Light they on burn fire. It? Yeah. That's terrible. That's crazy. I I don't like that. And they do shit with animals, like with rats. Yeah. Oh, the shit where um I think I, I know what you're talking about. It's like they give they fill you, they like they put like hungry rats on like your stomach, and they put like a bucket over so they yeah, don't get out. So and they, they heat get, it up. Uh, yep. And now they start stressing. Now they, they start, start stressing and then they trying to they trying to get out. Basically, and they scratching your stomach. Yeah, no. Nah. Cra- like, come on, there's That's too creative. That's crazy. Yeah. No. Like, like, I, be, like, okay, just do the thing where you, um, waterboard. Take take one of my fingers off. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, type shit. Tell, I, like that's normal shit. Yeah. Like, don't put a rat on me. That's yeah. crazy. That's so deep. That nigga's literally like digging into your body. Yeah, and, like running through your gut. That's like so bad. you could probably feel all of that shit. You know how people have um, Nigga, that, that 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 um amnesia. Uh, you know how people put uh, um, uh, phantom arms or some shit like. Not even phantom arms. You know how people put, you know how to get surgery. What anesthesia? Yeah. So they, you know how people have woken up during yeah. anesthesia. You know that's probably how that shit feels. But like, like do you, you think could, they could feel it though, or you think yes. they're just awake? They still feel it. Yes. Oh wow, that's ass. They, they there's people who you think they keep going. I don't know going? if I told you about this, but there's a guy who, I guess he was having a crazy crazy like uh something mentally like he started like yeah he was just screaming mentally like he was just screaming yeah um and it's because he has surgery and he didn't know why they didn't know why it's because he had surgery um a couple i would say maybe months a a year I, i don't know yeah uh prior and 
I think it was brain. It was it was in his head. It was a brain surgery. And he woke up from it. He woke he he woke up from it. Not like mind you, his eyes aren't open, but so he, they think they're dead. But consciously, he's alive. Yeah. He's 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 woken up. Yeah. So that's the thing that's bad. You can't tell them that you feel the shit. Oh, because they you're think like, you're sleeping. You're, oh, you're, you're, you're like your eyes are closed. Oh, but your but your mind is awake during yeah. the process. So like so you, you could still, so you could feel every single part where they digging through your thing, that, digging through your body. Like every scalpel, shit, yo, every scalpel. So there, so so after that, uh, you know, nigga didn't know like he. I don't know. He just started mentally. Nigga was just fucked up. Yeah. People, you know, obviously people have PTSD during that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I would too, so, nigga. Yeah, fuck? nigga. So basically he started, he killed himself because he started, um, like, basically seeing shit, hearing shit, and uh, getting random headache pains yeah. every day. Even though he got his shit, his shit was cured. Yeah. Whatever he got in his head was cured. But he started getting hella headache, headache pains because he's... He just was thinking continuously about, thinking about, oh, sh- like this. I experience yeah, experience. that's what I'm saying. Like your mind is very powerful. It's I, I don't very think powerful. niggas understand. Like there's play, there's things in your mind that you could really untap, either yeah. untap or unlock, that could really like change your whole outcome. Yeah. Like I remember they was talking about how there was a guy. I forgot what happened. So he basically there was there's a bunch of events where. People will get head injuries, like say they get concussions. Yeah. So some guy, I think, he got knocked out, got into a coma. I think I might be mixing up the stories, but he got knocked out. He got put in a coma for a week because he got in a car accident. Yeah. He wakes up from the car accident and he literally knows fluent Chinese. Oh, that's crazy. Knows fluent Chinese. Don't know how. Never spoke a lick of Mandarin, Chinese, whatever. Wakes up, he understands it. He doesn't know how. Another time, same thing. Head injury. The guy wakes up. He's like he he's like he starts liking music. He goes onto the piano. He, he starts playing, playing that shit. Yes, bro. Then another dude, a random college kid, hits his head, boom, knocks out, goes into a coma for a day or two, comes back, and he like he knows like physics and math. Like he got smart. Like he looked like he, before he used to look at he didn't know what it is. Now he's looking at everything. He's like like remember remember in, uh, Transformers when that nigga Shia, Shia LaBeouf like yeah. had that shit like got that drug and he was like mm-hmm. riding around. That's what he was doing like riding down everything. Like it's like if you. That's why I th- that's why I be saying, bro. Yeah, but isn't that lucky? It's lucky because there are people who get hit in the head and literally term like they get permanently injured for the rest that's of their life. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that's why I feel like it's it's luck, but it's also I feel like people know how to do it. Like, really? I feel like certain people know how to unlock certain parts of their brain for a. Yeah, but are you, are you sure? Nah. I think so. Like it's not, not if you got hit in your head. Not, yeah, not, not you got hit in your because head. Because I know, I know this cop. I, well, I don't know this cop. I seen this cop that yeah. um, he was he was uh, getting some. Uh, he had a call from, I guess, some neighbors of them, and there was this crazy ass dude. Yeah. That was basically banging his head on some shit. Yeah. The nigga, the nigga was running up towards the cop, and he said some shit. He had he head he headbutt him. Yeah, I couldn't let that. Yeah, he headbutted the cop. Yeah, and then um, you know the cop was decent, cool. You know he he was he was cool. Yeah. Two months after, the cop just straight collapsed. Yeah, and then ba- uh, basically that that headbutt tra- he got blunt force trauma. Yeah, he got he got um, uh, he started having blood clots. And it was going to his chest. Did he die? No, he didn't die. He he's oh. he, but he can't be a cop no more. He like he tried coming back to being a cop. He couldn't do anything. Yeah. So he honestly, was a hundred percent disabled from being a cop. Yeah, honestly, like there's a lot. Of, like it really did depend. Like the, I think those. Like I think those are the lucky ones. Yeah. Because you remember, do you remember that one boxer that he yeah was boxing, that got hit in the back, back of the head, the head so many then, times. Now he no he didn't he got hit in the back of the head that one fight. Like yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about yeah that yeah. one fight so many and times. And he yeah. turned like he like literally is like like yeah, disabled now. Yeah, it's crazy. He can't speak. That's it is bad. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like it's really like your head is very sensitive, but it's also very powerful. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, so so do you think those people? Maybe it's cause maybe the, he got in a coma, so it had to be like hard. It had to, like it. I think it's like it's a certain way. Way like, I think it, 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 it. Like I think it's just luck. Like he literally just knocked yeah. like something, and then while he, he his brain was like 
like recovering in the process, he probably gained some shit yeah. a certain way. Yeah. Like those niggas that probably got hurt, that's hurt like that, that shit's probably like damaged beyond prepare, repair or something. Yeah, like that. that shit crazy. That boxer, bro, that boxer is crazy because it's like from those back of the heads, like you wouldn't think. Uh huh. Like I seen it, you wouldn't think that those things would be like it would cause permanent damage. damage. Yeah, like, like that. At like least. that. Nah, like bro. that shit was crazy when I seen how he when you see how he looks now. Yeah, bro. It's ridiculous. That's just sad. Yeah, bro. I, I be looking at that. I'm like, yo, that's why I, I can't do that boxing shit, bro. Yeah, bro. And niggas and I hate like people will begin. I hate seeing when boxers like they get mad when. Niggas uh be like, yeah, you got hit in the back of the head, or you you keep hitting them in the back of the head. Yeah, I can see like, now. Nigga, like that shit could cause people to like change. Nah, your whole life is your done, whole bro. life is there. Yeah. So so obviously that's some serious shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, type shit. That's why they really train niggas. Like yo, like if you see it, you just gotta let it rock. Like don't yeah. like niggas get trained. Like they really train them. Like hit certain spots in their face. Yeah, that's crazy though. But I, I got another question for you. So would you rather wake up every morning with a hangover? But every single morning you wake up, it slowly gets worse until you eventually die. What the fuck? Or wake up every morning with a random animal spawning in your room. That shit not even the same shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That was the most random one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> random animal? Yeah. I'm picking the animal. I'm not going to lie. Why? Because like. I every might, You said every what? Every morning. That's stupid. Why? Every morning, there like you want to wake up with the nigga towards the end. That shit gonna freaking suck. Your head's gonna be rocking, my nigga. Yeah, but you said gradually it gets worse. Yeah, right? gradually it gets worse. You, that shit might. You said until I die, right? No, like it's gonna get so bad you're gonna die. Like it might. You don't know. It nah, might be two it. years, nigga. But the longer it is, the worse it's gonna get. Where you yeah. gonna be like, yo, I wish this shit, I'm dead already. Yeah, headache, headaches, headaches do get crazy. Nigga, I might wake up, it might be a chicken in my room. Nah. What you it, mean? Nah. It might be, yeah. It might be a chicken one day. But my nigga dares. What the fuck? What you mean, what the fuck? If it's a fucking tiger, you're done. I would just put a bear trap. Put a bear trap in the center, we good. Nigga, just talk about a bear trap. Why are you putting a bear trap in your room? You're gonna get caught in that shit now. No, I'm you're not. Gonna I'm gonna up, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna be like, Ah, it's a good day. Oh, it was a good day. Nigga, uh, yeah, it was just a duck. Again. It was just a duck today. Exactly. Yeah. And then bear trap, boom. <laughs> but I rather I yo imagine a hangover every single morning. First of all, the first one wakes up now. You all dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. You're not gonna be able to want to do shit at all. Like you just you're literally waking up in like a daze, and then as it gets worse, you don't even know when you're gonna die. It's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse. And you're just gonna want to die at, at one point. Yeah, that's true. Just imagine I how. I might as well not like just be in my. I don't. I might as well not be in my room though. What? What you mean not be in your room? Like I might as well sleep somewhere else. What if you had the hangover? Or if you had the animals? No, in the animals. No, like it's gonna spawn by you while oh you're sleeping. Oh my god! Not just in your room, motherfucker. But like, it could, one day it could be a duck. One day it could be a whale. One day it could be some weird crazy shit. One day it's gonna be a whale. You know how big whales are. I know. That's that. My nigga, your, your house is done. I understand, but. <laughs> I don't want that. That pain is gonna suck. At least it's I the think whale. I might do the hangover. The hangover, really? Nah, yes. I can't, bro. At some point, one of those animals are are gonna eat you. It's gonna fuck you up. I understand, but I just hope like one day, like if it's a you bear, can't. it's not. It's just gonna be cooling. He's just gonna be sleeping, and I'm just gonna have to find a way to get the fuck out the room. At one and one day, it might be an animal trying to kill me. Right? Anyways. One day, an animal's gonna try to kill you. I understand. I'm gonna be ready so for that day. I'm gonna have. So you're not gonna be ready for it. Why not? You're not gonna be ready for. Do it. Do you know how painful that gotta be to your mind? You're not gonna be able to do. What would you possibly do that? That's gonna be. That's gonna make you be ready. for I'm it. not gonna kill it. Of course, I'm not gonna kill it. But I'm gonna have like. I'm gonna have like shit on stand. But I'm gonna have like. Bear. I feel like if I right, say if I have a tiger first day. Damn, that's fucking ass. First Nigga, day tiger. You can't prepare, you can't prepare for that. Now, first day, you're done. What you mean? What if I have some bear spray? What if? You just said what if. There's. Look at your room right now. Where's the bear spray? I'm a, Okay. As soon as I make the deal, I'm going to make sure I have a bear spray in my room. I'm going to have something. Okay. There's. I don't think. Nah, bro. Nah. Bro, are you serious? And not only that, your room is not, is not big enough 
For me, you know how big a fucking a fucking tiger is, bro. I understand that. I understand. First of all, all your shit done up. That's one thing. <laughs> that PS Five gone. That's fine. Fuck the PS Five. Yeah, that's true. I hop out this motherfucking window. That might just be my and escape. And not only that, the next day you could probably get something worse, like <laughs> like that. But, but it also might be good. I might get a little duck. Nah, I'm getting a headache. I might get. You gonna get a headache? Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, that's a terrible way to die, bro. Yeah, that that is. Ass just imagine you just wake up and everything. The room just like spinning. Yeah, I'm doing that. Fuck bro. that! I can't do that. Hell no, I can't do that shit, bro. I have to. All right, so get a get some medication for it. Nah, that's too. That shit's gonna. That shit gonna hurt my head, bro. Like I might be just off the, off the, off the cocaine, my nigga. Nah, bro. Whatever bro. makes my shit. Straight, straight, <laughs> like <laughs> straight. Shit. straight. I'm dead ass, bro. Hey, bro. All right, so I got another. Would you rather question? Would you rather be fifty feet tall or be two inches tall? What did you just say? Would you rather be fifty feet tall or two inches tall? Fifty feet. Why? Okay, think about it. if you're. Did 50, you just say two inches to me? If you, what if am you, I doing two inches? Two inches. If you, there are animals bigger than you, if you're fifty there feet tall, where are you gonna you. live? So the fuck what, nigga? You can't do nothing forever. Like you're just literally just like an anomaly. You're just big as fuck for no. You breaking shit. Where are you living over here, nigga? I'm little. I can hide. Two inches like this big. There are. There are bugs that are bigger than you. I understand. I just got to fight off the bugs, but I'm cool if I'm two inches. Oh, my gosh. You just have to fight off the bugs. You are not fighting off the bugs. <laughs> I'll be 50 feet easily. Why? You literally got no... You can't live nowhere. You can't have a normal life. You're literally just big. I could sit down somewhere. Sit down where? You're going to break some shit. Okay. You literally got to pay. Now you got to pay all the shit you break. You Every step you take, you're breaking some shit. Bro, if I'm 50 feet, right? Yes. Motherfuckers gonna help me go somewhere to where I could sit down maybe Nigga, somewhere. You're you're an attraction now. Niggas gonna look at you like a freaking monument. Yeah, which is cool. How's that cool? You don't even got no place to go run away from that shit. <coughs> Every day you're gonna have niggas be like, oh, take a picture with me. You want you want that? No, I don't want that. Like literally, you got nowhere to live. When it rains outside, you're just gonna live in the rain. You ain't got no umbrella that's big enough for you. No oh, shit. <laughs> like Man, what that the, rain better be ass. Like what do you, you can't even like you gonna be drinking ocean water. There ain't no water bottles big enough for you. They ain't gonna let you pick up a goddamn water tower and drink that shit. Oh yeah. Like at least if I'm two inches tall, all I gotta What's do water bet what water is gonna be big. You gonna drink the motherfucking the mother- Nigga, I could swim in this shit and drink it. Swim and drown. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna hop <laughs> like you drowned. I'm not boat. hopping in the bottle. I'm gonna die. <laughs> There's no how way I'm you, getting. It. Okay, how you get two inches? I'm like this tall, nigga. I just knock it over and just drink it. Like I'm just gonna drink it like I'm in a bath. Off the ground. Yes. Off the ground, nigga. I'm not, yo. I'm a or like it's not like you. <laughs> you still got family, bro. Then would Jay love me if I'm two inches tall? Fuck no. Your girl would love you if you're fifty feet. I know that. Oh damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Like Jay, Jay would love me if I'm two inches. Jay, you love no. me if I'm two inches tall. Oh, all right. F- I hate liars. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Like literally, bro. <laughs> this is my boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, you get plucked. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm, I'm gonna be like a dance. I'm gonna do my like name. a little dance. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. She's like, she's gonna put me out of pocket. This is my boyfriend, guys. And go see me do my little jig. <laughs> Yo, my nigga Darius gonna get plucked and he's dead. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can't be 50 feet, bro. Cause, like, literally, if there's a hurricane, you can't even go inside for safety. Nah, that's true. Nah, probably. Nah, uh, you just, you did just remind me, like, you do have family. Yeah, like, you literally, and you're pl- plus, you're knocking, you can knock shit over easily. <laughs> 50 feet tall is like the size of. How many stories should that be? Maybe like 10-story building, maybe? Yeah. No, five-story building, yeah. maybe? A five-story building. That's how tall you are. If you, like, you step, you break the the ground, you got to pay for that shit. Bro, bro, think about it, too, though. Your, your, your family could accidentally step on you by accident. They could, but, not, but like, Anybody, me? Like, but like, when you're sm- like, oh, shit, this nigga's two inches tall. But when you're oh. small, don't shit, like, that's bigger than you, like, like move slower? 
Nigga, that's a fucking movie. So what you mean? Nah, what bro. What you mean? Nobody know. Fu- nobody you, knows if that's real for real. Nah, I don't believe that. Why? I don't believe that. Nigga, I'm literally small, so I can like move out the way. I don't believe that. You're not gonna step on me I as long be- as I as no, long as I don't no, get lost no. in the backyard. I'm good. Yo, I honestly <laughs> don't believe that's how it works. Why? I really don't. The, 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 I don't they, think time slows down just because you're small. <laughs> I don't think people slow down just because you're small. Nigga, then why can't? Okay, we- so are you are you are you just because you're small? Are you faster? I'm not faster, but it's like it's like a fly. Like flies, you can't hit a fly because you're not fast enough to hit it. But you're st- no, but they're faster than you. They're not faster than me. It's because they're. It's not because they're smaller. Yeah, I don't believe it. What? I really don't believe. I think so, bro. As long as I don't get lost, like if if like if I fall into the grass, I'm done. I don't. I don't believe that. If I'm going like this, they see it like this. I think so, bro. You think so, bro? I think so. Like it's. I like, think you watch a lot of movies. But where do they get that from? I don't know. You're like, what the fuck? They just pulled that shit out of their ass? Damn. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, is it how it goes, though? I don't know, bro. That's a good-ass question. If you go like this to a fly, do they see you do this? I don't know. I don't know. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, is there? A, then there's no big animal that we can compare it to. I mean, all, I mean, I guess. Maybe. You never know. I'm, I'm picking two inches, though. Two inches, I'm going to be like this. Two inches is literally this big. This is me. Think about it. Okay. Nah, I don't know. Are you sure? Nah, I, I don't think, know. I think so, bro. I don't know. I think so, bro. I think so. Look, I'm telling you. I don't know. You don't know? Nah, I don't know. So are you gonna pick fifty or are you? I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick two inches. You gonna pick two? All right, all right. All right. I got another question. Do you? All right. Do you want a situation question or do you want? Or do you want a hundred million dollars? That's situation. a crazy. Situation. All right. Which situation would you rather try to survive? You're being forced to fight in World War Three. And you have to survive your term. So however long you're in that your your thing in World War Three. Like okay. you're going to war, you know, with China and shit like that. Okay. You're being held in the worst prison ever, filled with murderers and serial killers for five years. Or you get kidnapped and you're forced into a game of manhunt for your life. So you literally get kidnapped and get put into a game. Like, you get sent into the woods, and you're being chased for your life. You get hunted down. Which situation would you rather be in? So, I'm in World War Three. In the World War Three, in, in prison, or a game of manhunt for your life? I'd do the manhunt. Really? Nah. I, don't, I think I might do World War Three, bro. The prison? No, nah, I'm not doing prison. I'm doing World War Three. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, the prison. Oh, you're not like in prison in a world. Oh, you're doing prison. Yeah. Oh, prison is his own option. Yeah, prison is his own option. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I was thinking. Yeah, I was doing World War Three, right? No, you said That's the manhunt. You said the manhunt. Oh, oh, I'm bugging. You could do World War Three? Okay, so World War Three. I'm I'm fa- I'm in I'm in the war. Yeah. And how how long did it go? I mean, no, World War Three didn't happen. I'm bugging. Yeah, yeah, World War Two back. Yeah, no, yeah. like say it's like a say it's like so we're we're so just imagine. Okay, you know, so the World War hap- is happening. World yeah, War World War Three is happening. happening. We're, and um, and they're sending us off. We're sending us off. We're going to war with Russia and China. Okay. So now you got to think about where and we're how, at. And however long I have to it, your it term happens, is, it, it, it might happens. be six months or okay. it might be longer because you lost out in okay. a battle. Okay. Or prison for how long? Five years. The worst prison was serial killers and murderers. Oh no, I'm not doing that one. And man, huh? Or you get kidnapped, but you have to survive being hunted down like an animal. Wow. I think I'm doing the man. I ain't gonna lie. Are you serious? I'm not doing that one. I think I will. You think so? Yeah. I, you, this is What are you doing? I'm doing World War III, bro. Nah. They're going to get my ass. Nah. They're, you're, they're hunting you down like an animal. You going to kill them niggas? There's like maybe, there's like one, maybe I'll, I'll give you one guy that's hunting you down. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. You killing him? Yeah. How the fuck you would kill him? You don't got nothing. Oh, I don't have anything. I mean, do you, I'll give you a knife. Oh yeah, I'm killing him. There's no way. I'm killing what him. What you gonna do? Hide and what he got a gun, nigga. Yeah. Hide 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 in the um listen, you got if it's not if it's dark too, that's even better. So you gotta what you gotta do is am I in the woods? Yeah, it's like it's like nice woods. So this is what I do. You have to um, and it's dark, so you have to um, run right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, 
Go behind a tree. Okay. Stay there. <laughs> and then, once you hear the footsteps, <laughs> let them go. Straight like that. Easy. Dead. That's not easy. I feel like that's easy. What if the nigga is a hunter? They track. Yeah, but they hunt animals. I'm not an... I am an animal, but... <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm killing them, bro. That they nigga's hunt, gonna like, kill you, They hunt, like, deers and shit. They not... Deers aren't, aren't smart enough or whatever to to be like, all right... But you don't let like, me hide. But you no, they just gonna stay in. They just gonna be all in the open. But running, you don't know that open. feeling of just being hunted down. Like, no, that'll that'll that'll, that'll will probably be the worst part. But that'll build up my adrenaline to kill him. To kill him. No, nah, I think I'm gonna do World War Three. You're bro. dead. Why? What the fuck? I mean, honestly, Nigga, I just gotta survive. You just got drafted. I might. I might survive. I just gotta survive. What? Two battles, maybe. Two. 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 You're just assuming. You don't even know how long your term gonna be. I understand that. Nigga, you could die. You know how long, you know how, bro, that nigga can have a sniper on him or whatever and just shoot your ass. It's dark. You have to do it. You what have that to? nigga got night vision oh, yeah, that's, goggles? That's, okay. You're just chatting right now, I'm bro. just saying, what nigga got shit. He, he prepared, he wants you to, he wants you to die. Like he kill. he's hunting you down like a, like a. That's like a, fine. Like a I'm hunting right? him down too. He just don't know, bro. Nah, bro. I'm, if I'm, I have a knife, bro, at least, at least I have a knife, something that. I could use, I'm trained, uh, well, I'm not necessarily trained with a knife, but at least I know how to use it. Nigga, you're going to get drafted. They're going to put an AK-47 in your hands. you going to, you're not knowing shit. <laughs> Nigga, what I'm doing in war, if they say, I'm I'm just, oh, damn, I don't even know what to do. Fuck. Nothing. Nigga. You can't do nothing. At, at some point, I'm yo, at that if they when they start drafting people, bro, they, they that, that's just be, because they need people. They need people, my nigga. Well, I, start, I don't know if I'm going to go willy-nilly or I'm going to hide. I might hide. Nigga, bitch. Oh, uh, definitely. If I, if, what would, if I were to get drafted or some shit, nigga, I'm hiding. I'm hiding like shit. The but, like, the, the niggas that hide are the niggas that die. Oh, yeah. On some bullshit. Like, that's when the like, grenade like come out grenade. of nowhere. Like, ah, oh, you dead fuck. ass. Why yeah. the fuck you over here? Yeah, you, you do th- got Like, it. why the fuck you throw the grenade over I, here? There's nobody here but me. Yeah, I feel like when, uh, like, you do have to move. Yeah. Like, maneuver type shit. Like, real shit. But then again, you could also throw the grenade back. I know, but it's like a couple. Seconds. What if they what if they hold it for a little bit and yeah, throw it? Yeah, then they throw it back. That sucks. Like they tell you, like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, then throw. Yeah. So they don't throw that shit back. Yeah, that shit. Ass. I don't know. I'm still. I, I don't know. I'm whatever. I'm not taking that prison, bro. That's too long. I'm not doing prison. Nah. Definitely not with, with the worst. The worst prison is crazy. Yeah. But I'll definitely do the man up. Definitely do the man. I hunt. think I have a greater chance of killing. That guy and getting out of it, then trying to survive multiple or a whole army full of guns. But it's not just me. I got there's some niggas that's nice. It don't matter, bro. I just hope I'm in like a tank or some shit. I don't even know. It's a it's, tank mo- is still- it's modern day. What the fuck do we got? We need some motherfucking robots as well. Yeah, I know. Let, let the robots <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> like we bro. need some robots. Yeah, bro. Like real shit. Nah, but oh, I got a, I got another story I want to talk talk to you about, bro. So, so I was, you know me, I like watching Joe Rogan and shit like that. So yeah. there was a story he was talking about is the first account of an alien killing a human. Mm-hmm. So it was in nineteen what was it nineteen ninety? It was in nineteen ninety six in Brazil, a city in Brazil where there was an alien UFO crash landed in a city. It was I forgot what it was called. It was a it was a city in Brazil. And there's eyewitness accounts. There's like there was three girls that was on the scene that seen it, and there was living like aliens in the shit still. But so the the army was called, all that shit, and like the town, like the city now was like no, like they nobody knew about it, but like they have like UFOs because they seen it. Mm-hmm. So they have eyewitness, they have documents on it. The military was involved, all that shit. They took the aircraft, and there was a there was a there was a small little creature like alien. That was laying on the ground. I think it was like hurt or some shit. So one of the guy, a guy picked it up, and the three girls, there was the three sisters, seen him do it. He picked them up and brought them over to like a lab for testing. But the alien had like slime or whatever on him, and that shit got on his skin. And when it got on his skin, that shit like seeped through his skin and like went to his body and like was fucking up his immune system. Like his immu- whole immune system shut down, and he got like a like a infection, and then he died from that infection. And it's like once he died from it. Like niggas 
was like, yo, what the, like, like, this is like the first time anybody ever did that shit. And there's like actual like documentation of like, uh, like documents of him dying and everything. Like in the, in the hospital, they written down, like he died from infection shit like that. But people, I think they're making like a new documentary about it because like nobody really knows about it. Cause everybody yeah, thinks like when aliens come, it's always like, oh, aliens, we see aliens, all this, that, and the third. We they either they abduct people they bring them back yeah, down yeah. they we just see aliens we just see a crash but the government already swoops in and takes them yeah. but this is the first time like the nig a person like that we know of like somebody like actually died from this shit oh shit but it's they the documentary is still like I think I think I don't know if it came out already yet and I know I think there was like a guy like one of the truck drivers from the army like he was he was getting interviewed and they was asking him, like did you see him in there but like you could tell like he can't say nothing. Because like you can't you can't talk about shit like that because he's like he's a convoy driver so he's he was there yeah so he was at, he, he was at, it. yeah so he's asking like did you like see anything he was just like he was beating around the bush yeah and because I think that's where the alien was and the guy was in there and I think he knew the guy mm. and they're just trying to like because I think they came like the government came in to like the families and tried to told them like, like you can't speak about it no more damn like imagine that shit happened to you bro you see some alien crash and shit like like some UFO crash whatever. And that shit's just like, cause it's honestly when motherfuckers, when motherfuckers uh like um like if they do speak out on that they the government be they be they be quick to kill the motherfuckers. That's too. what I'm saying. And I also think that the government pays either pays or yeah. does shit to niggas to make them continuously say it, yeah. or like they'll they'll make niggas like cap or lie about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So. Nobody knows if it's true or not. Everybody just thinks that everybody's faking because this nigga was lying. Of course, okay, this nigga lied, that nigga lied, that nigga lied. But really, these niggas is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like a lot of the CIA p pays people. I, like, I heard that was a whole thing. Like, the CIA creates conspiracies in the in the media. So, like, we don't know what's true or not. Mm. So, they'll, pay, they'll put, like, false, like, conspiracies of, like, oh, Bigfoot or, oh, this alien thing happened or oh like vortexes just so like we're focused on it and like we're yeah, so we don't know right. what is we don't know what's true anymore yeah. now we just think everything's like fake like everything is just like fake just like how that shit is the media is a big part of shit too did you yeah. did you see the thing on Joe Rogan where um literally different news was saying the same exact shit I think I did see that. Like, like every other, like they, like it was the same. They was talking about the same shit, the same way. They said everything the same. Like, like mm -hmm. the media, the media, like news media is a big influence when it comes to shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. they're they're a whole bunch of bots to me. Bro. Like this, this is what I, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, think about it. We look at we look at North Korea, and we look at them as like they don't know nothing about the world mm. because of who their leader is, and they he. He, he really yeah. he restricts everything, everything for them, so they yeah. really don't know what's outside. Yeah. But just imagine they do that for us, but in a different way, mm. as in propaganda, where we look at all these countries, like we look at Russia, China, uh, all these other bad countries as they're terrible people, because that's what the media tells us. Mm -hmm. But really, what if they? That's just like if we if you show a kid or people something, they're gonna believe it, especially if it's everywhere. So, like, niggas could be making fake news, fake propaganda oh, yeah. just to, like, hide us from the real world. What if, like, we're, like, the worst people? That's why, like, why is that, that, why do you think people, like, look at us like, like, the dirty Americans? Yeah, that's true. Like, but we don't understand why, because we think we're the best people in the world. Mm -hmm. But really, like, on the outside looking in, niggas look at us like, yo, we're freaking idiots because yeah. we're being distracted yeah. by this shit. Yeah. Like, like, we can't, and we can't stop it. We can't control, niggas literally control what we post every day. Yeah. Niggas control yeah, what goes out in the algorithm. Niggas control what people see. Niggas control what's on the news. Mm -hmm. Even they talk. I forgot there was a guy. He was talking about there's one thing that happened on the news that they weren't talking about. That China and Russia made an agreement of some shit, where it's like they're they're starting to like combine their currencies or some shit like that, and nobody talks about it. Mm. And they're, they're like they like China and Russia made like signed like ten or twelve agreements to like partner with each other. And that's like our biggest like enemy at the point. Damn. But no, but niggas no, is talking about you yeah. know who niggas talking about Donald Trump. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That nigga Donald Trump is the what's that shit industry plant? That's oh, what? definitely. Like, nigga, why is he still relevant? Definitely, bro. That nigga been honestly like I didn't even know about Donald Trump like until I didn't even know like he was even 
A politician? A politician. Like, he, he's, he's been in the game for a while. Nigga, like, we, he used to be in wrestling. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? I used like, to, bro, I used to root for Donald Trump because he was with Bobby Lashley, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, because because it was Bobby Lashley versus Umaga, and Umaga was the the commissioner bet on Umaga to win against oh. Bobby Lashley, and Donald Trump was like, nah, Bobby Lashley go beat him, and it was like the winner, whoever loses, got to get their head shaved. Oh wow! And like that's what that's how I looked at Donald Trump. I didn't think Donald Trump was like was a like politician, a, yeah, but this nigga, like you see, nigga, that that person became our president. Yeah, that person over here on. Fake wrestling became our president. How the fuck did that happen? I don't even know. How did that really happen? And now he's still re- look. Look at every other president that we ever had. We don't they, never they, talk they, about. Yeah, that. they barely talk about Joe Biden more than they, like they talk about Donald Trump, Trump more, more than, than Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. That's no what I'm cap. saying. That nigga's an interesting plan, bro. Nah, that's there's that's no crazy. way, bro. There's no way in hell, bro. It is crazy. There's no way, but I was like, like I never know what Joe Biden is doing. Me neither. I used to know everything of what Donald Trump was That's doing saying, at the office. Bro. No cap. I be thinking that nigga Joe Biden a bot too, bro. Yeah, yeah, kind like, of. Like, think about it. If you want to be completely honest, there's I told you about eight. There's eight billion people in this world. Yeah. There's definitely ten bots. Uh, yeah. Like I'll you, say that. like you think like there might be some not like uh somebody that's. That's like a Android that the government puts out just to see if they can learn or something uh, like that. I don't know because, damn. They think about that'd it. That'd be like, do you think they really have the to, to not like? You can't see like maybe the skin. It's probably unrealistic or like. I mean, you could. There's there, there's no way that the physical features is exactly like a human. I mean, yeah, but like they could probably just tell them like, yo, just walk around. Don't interact. No, I just walk around. Just get information. That's true. Like they can't. Like it's not like he's gonna walk up. Like it's not like I'm. He's gonna be working a job. They could just have that nigga just literally wake up in the morning, just walk around, just walk around like the city, anything. Because if there's a lot of people, you're not gonna notice. That's true. Walk Especially around. if it's in city like New York. Yeah, and if shit, you're in New everyone's York, walking like around. He's, he comes out of his apartment, walks down the stairs, just just walks out. He has a hoodie on yeah. and he's just getting information. Damn. Just imagine, there's eight billion people in this world. There could be one per country. That's still not. Not a lot. That's still maybe a thousand, maybe. Mm-hmm. Dude, so there might be. I be think. I be thinking some niggas in this world is bots. Oh yeah, me too. Come so on, like, bro. come on, bro. Like you never the way know. Niggas bro. Reacting. You like, never niggas, know, bro. The way niggas act. It's weird, it's bro. Weird. But and then I was. I was an- another alien thing I was talking about, or I was hearing about was there was a comet that flew over the the Earth. It was like in 1994. It was called like Shoemaker Shoemaker Levi Nine or whatever. It was a so like you know normal comments come through like people watching and shit, mm-hmm. and the debris comes off. And like it's not uncommon that a debris comes off and hits the Earth because mm-hmm. it usually happens. So after when this comet came over, debris came off and it went to the Arctic and it made like a lake because it hit the Arctic and made a lake. Mm-hmm. So people just thought that the government just thought okay it's just normal, and then they realized like the shit started getting going deeper. Like it starts getting like deeper. Like it started out from like half a mile, and like I right right now it's like nine miles deep, and nobody knows why. Like they think it's like, and like I think the government and scientists went over there with like their equipment, like you know what they go like underwater to see shit. Yeah. They brought that shit down there, but as they, every time they go down there, that shit it they just co- keeps sinking, gets no, deeper. No, it's like when they bring the equipment down there, the the equipment comes back like broken and shit. Really? Yeah. So they come back up, and then a couple of divers went down there. And they said they feel like hella, like they feel drained as they see it, and they see like a green like vortex on the bottom. Nah. But I don't know if that's this might be if this is true because niggas probably just be this might be some other shit the government just just yeah, telling us just tell to niggas. throw us off. But niggas think that green there's some vortex, shit green. like imagine the niggas saying that there's like a UFO trying to get to our Earth's core. They're like digging. Bro, like Rick and Morty, bro, green vortex. Literally, bro. like Rick and Morty, bro. I think I don't know if that shit's real though. I think that might be a stretch. That might be some shit they making up. Yeah. Because there's no way that shit, there's no way that shit would get out for real if that I, shit is actually happening. I, That's a problem, nigga. I kind of I don't believe in like like vortexes. No, as in vortex, it's like a it's not really vortex, but it's like green light. So it's not like a it's not a portal, but it's like a okay. green light. But they think it's like like a machine, okay, 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 okay. like that's drilling through the okay, earth. I, be, I believe I, I'm cool with you that. You cool with that? Yeah. yeah. But you like, don't believe in vortexes, like like dimensional like to things. To go to like in other dimensions, yeah. No, I don't believe like in like I don't know. You're in this uh this abandoned spot or whatever. This spot it's abandoned or some shit, and like you see, I don't know whatever a blue light or a blue vortex opens a hole up. Opens up 
to where you could go through it and you're in somewhere. I don't believe in that. You don't think so? No. Nah. Do you believe in other dimensions, though? I do. Okay, like there's multiple versions of you or just different dimensions? Yeah. Yeah, I okay. think multiple versions of me. Mm-hmm. But I don't believe that I could go through go it. Go through them. See, I, I remember Jason was talking about this before. <clears throat> it's called quantum immortality, right? Yeah. So it basically means that we never die. But as soon as we die, we go to the next dimension that's very close to us. And we just, like, merge. So it's like, so for example, right? Remember when I got in that car accident? Yeah. So when I got into, so B, when I got in the car accident, I was making a left turn. Nigga hit me on the right side. I closed my eyes and I put my hand over my head like this. Imagine in my old life, right? I died, but I moved into the next one where I lived. And I open my eyes, I'm awake, and now I'm in a whole nother, whole nother dimension type shit. Nah. It could be, but like, think about it. It could happen though. Like, just imagine, like, like if you get into like, like, say you're in a coma, they think you like in that life, you like in your past life, the one so, dimension. So you do not believe that. No. Wait. So. Okay. It's basically you're not dying. You're just going into the next dimension. Into another reality, basically, not dimension. So basically, you don't think, isn't is it doesn't that just straight mean you're immortal? Basically, you just keep living. So because that because think about it, nobody knows what happens when you die. It you don't you, you don't really don't know what happened. You you don't. But like think about but, it. But like 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 say like I've so been you fa- think okay so you think okay sorry uh, no no you should so you think the people who have died yeah have went. To another dimension, reality, another reality where they're alive. Possibly, like think about it. When Abe Lincoln got shot, he died in our reality, but in another, and when in another reality, he might have lived from that. And then I don't know, but it de- but it just it depends on like if that's the case, we in a simulation, honestly. Hell yeah! Like because because it's like we don't know what happens when you die for real. You, don't. you really don't know. And we've been a lot, we've been on this earth for damn near. I don't know how long that somebody long. somebody knows how we die. Some there's somebody in this world that knows, but like we don't know if it's true or not because we don't experience it for yeah, ourselves. You have to, you know what I'm saying? Like there could be definitely like like that. Like I always think about when I think of I don't know if it's true or not because I always think when you die you just re reincarnate yeah. into like another version yeah. yourself. Yeah, me too. So, but like I feel like like especially that moment where I thought like I got hit by a car. I thought like I could have like. He hit me pretty hard. Like, imagine, like, my life, my other life, I would have died in that one. Mm. And, like, that's, like, the, the the next reality closest to me right now. Mm. And now, like, but in this reality, I, like, mo- I merged in together, and now I'm alive. But the people in that reality behind me think I died. That's deep. That's it's weird. I don't know. Because especially, it's, like, that might be why we see all these little Mandela effects shit that be a little off. Mm. Because we're in another reality. But, like. Only certain things like a little small, like like especially like even a new Mandela effect I heard was like, what? Where is your heart located? Right now. Yeah, where's your heart located? <laughs> where do you? Where do we? Where they? Teach right you? here. Where's that? They go right here. Like where what, you pledge your allegiance. Where, like the right side, right? Like but, we uh, learn. We learn a heart. About? No, it's on my left side, right here. Oh yeah, left side, right here. Like, but but you you put it. It's right here though. Yeah, I feel it. It's not. This is not your heart. Your yeah. heart is right here, my nigga. What are you talking about? Your heart is in the middle. Your heart is right here. Like, it's your lungs and your heart's right here. But we learned, remember, we used, we used to look, pledge allegiance on your heart. But they said your heart is, like, in the middle, not on the left. Really? Yeah. But we've learned. That's what I'm saying. Like, that could be, like, but, like, that, but I, when I was, like, when I'm thinking, I'm like, wait, this is kind of, like, this is technically, like, the, the middle. The middle, isn't it? But like we, I always thought my heart was on the left. Like that's why we pledge allegiance like this. Yeah, we don't go like this. That's it's, true. Like you feel your heartbeat. It's like it's like right here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's like right here. So it's like I feel it right here. But like, but like maybe in the last reality, it was on our on our left side. But I don't know. I just thought I don't believe that shit. I don't know. I always thought it was cool to think about it like that because honestly, especially people that have like near death experiences, like. Like say God forbid somebody get into a plane crash or something like nah, that. Nah, life flash before you flash their eyes. before the eyes, and then you go into the next reality and where you live, and it's like you just keep living, you just keep living on forever, and you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and it's like everything prolongs now, 
and just be like you don't know how long you've been living but it just keeps prolonging 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 like say you're like 90 years old you think you go into the hospital and then you close your eyes you think you're about to die and you wake back up like oh no you're okay and you just keep prolonging everything. Nah, that'd keep prolonging. Be ass. That'd be that'd be crazy. That'd be ass. I'd rather. But die. now that <laughs> you'd rather die, like you're like I don't want to be ninety year old forever. You never know, bro. Like we could have been living for mad long for a damn. Like we could have been living for thousands of years, honestly. Like t- and then when we get to our ninety, that might be like ten thousand years. Nah, that's od. That'd be od though. I was thinking about. I'm like, nah, that shit's max, bro. But. Do I got another? One? I got. I think I got another. Oh, okay. Another. I got another question. So the devil is offering you a hundred million dollars if you finish this task. You must live in a house for a year with the monster in the basement. The monster doesn't only comes out at night, but it can't go into your room unless you lock it. I ain't doing no devil shit. Where's the other one? I'm. I'm still explaining it. Oh. <laughs> so if you lock your room door, he can't get into your room, but he's gonna be outside banging, screaming, like like hollering. Okay. But say you go outside during nighttime, he could kill you, but you could also kill him. And once you kill him, it take him a week to regenerate. What Will the you... fuck? That was just a lot right there. Yeah, it was a lot. Um. But would you do it though for a hundred no. minutes? Try to survive for 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 a year. No. Just because the devil? Do, yeah, just because the devil. What if it's me? Uh, I'll probably do it. <laughs> Bro, listen. I heard some shit about um making a deal with the devil. You you believe in shit like that? Yeah. Making the deal okay, with the I'm devil. Okay, I'm kidding. It's, it was me, though. I just said it just because. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you believe in making a deal with the devil? Like people have done that? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Like people have actually seen the devil and made 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 a deal with him. I don't think they've seen the devil. I think they're like the Satanist and they look at like the book and like they'll make like a do like a spell or some shit, make a deal with it. Okay. Like there's some sort of spell. So do you believe? So you be, do you believe that uh, when the people who have had near death experiences or who have died, mm-hmm. do you think you've heard stories that they've seen God? Yeah. You do you believe that? Do I believe in that? Uh, I think you. Be, I think I believe in that. Whatever you believe in is gonna happen to you. It's gonna happen to you. Like if you believe in God, you go go to heaven. I feel like you go go to heaven. Okay. But I. But it's like, that's him though. Like I don't like. I like. Like that. Like that's how. That's how strong your mind is for real. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you believe in that, if you strongly believe in that, your mind is gonna create that for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because because there was there. Was, I don't, I'm not good with names or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. There was this guy who wasn't a good musicianist really yeah and he he um you know he wasn't that good he you know he wanted to be a good musician musicianist or whatever what was his name bro well he, that, he sold the soul to the devil or some shit yeah basically basically what you know he would he would go to jazz clubs or whatever blues clubs and try to play the guitar mm-hmm. and he was fucking he was horrible yeah 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 he was horrible and then um, he basically went to, they said he, he, he left, he went astray or whatever, and he came back, he went to like this crossroads, you yeah, know, yeah. there's crossroads and yeah, shit yeah. like that, he went to the crossroads, he met the devil, and he made, um, a deal with the devil to where he wants to be the best mu- musician, you know, good at mu- you yeah. know, music, and they came back. Fucking playing guitar and shit. See, amazingly. Okay. How do you believe? How do you? How do you believe that? In, I, in less than, I think it was. I don't know. Maybe honestly, it was a month. Honestly, with that, I feel like, like, like I said, with your mind, bro. If you really tell your mind something, like if you really, really, truly believe and like manifest shit, I feel like that's like. My nigga, do I, I think? Know you told yourself what that? Oh, I'm I'm gonna dunk. I dunk, I've dunked the basketball before. Okay, but you haven't yammed that shit though. You know what I'm saying? I've dunked the basketball. Oh though. my god! <laughs> like, but okay, like, okay. I know you believed yourself that you could. Uh, I'm just, I'm just telling you. I feel like your mind is very powerful in a sense. No, I know. So imagine, right? He conjured up that shit in his mind. He sees the devil, says that shit, and then that shit literally like unlocks that. Remember when we talked about locking parts of your brain? Yeah, yeah. He mo- he unlocked that one part of his brain where he could actually play some music. Really? 
but I don't like. I don't think the devil really out here. But did he conjure up the devil? Like he did a spell or some shit? <laughs> like nah, or I don't did think he so. just? I think he was like. Well, I think the story says that he was walking in the crossroads or some. Like you know, he was just walking. He's a real life person. Yeah, he's a real. Oh, okay. Person. Uh, he was walking the crossroads and uh, he just seen it. See, I think when I pe- when I think of making deals <laughs> with the devil, I think I'll. I'm thinking of. Like rituals, that's just the saying, and they just yeah. do rituals. Like, like people say they sign their soul away. I think they just do a ritual where they manifest, like, they manifest like rich and fame and fortune mm. in exchange for something. But it's like a, it's like an actual like spell or some shit. Yeah, because um, witchcraft like, is weird. When it comes with dealing with the devil, like people could probably say like some. Yeah, no witchcraft is real. Yeah, people would probably say like you know how uh, you know. Uh, you know, riches and like fame, fame and fortune, yeah, fortune, like that. That's what they probably mean. Yeah, probably not the actual devil because yeah. the, the you know they say like the devil really. Uh, I forgot what they say about that. Like I feel like devils, like the devil might be just like a some that you um symbolize like yearn for, like yeah, you yeah. want, like you need, or yeah. something like. I also think like that might be that. That's like a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like or a simile, whatever that one's called. It's like, like I don't think everyone, anyone has ever seen, yeah, like, I don't physically know. seen them. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe I mean you never know. But like that's what I'm saying. Like you, like you only believe what you believe in and what you witnessed. Yeah. I can't tell somebody he didn't have seen it if he actually seen. It, then I got it. like this. That's that's, that's him. His, that's him. Yeah. That's that's what life is. That's why that's why life is really life in brother. Because like you could really like <laughs> you life, really life. could experience something, and nobody will ever believe you. Yeah. But you seen it your damn. That's what I'm saying. There's things in this world that you have, like, people tell us is real, but it's like, we will never know if it's real unless we experience that shit for real. We just trust their word. Yeah. The world is basically about trust. It's not like, it's not real. There's no truth. It's just trust. It's crazy because there was, there was a, there was a time also where, um, this lady basically went to court and said that, um... The ghost of her of her daughter, yeah, told her how she got killed, and that basically sent the guy to jail. Oh, really? Yeah. So basically, so basically, uh, I'm not good with names again. Uh, the da- the daughter, her daughter was pregnant. Yeah. Um, one of his uh, one of his uh, I guess his assistants or whatever went to his house. Yeah. Seen his wife on the on the stairs, just dead. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the nigga the you know, in 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 the public eye, the the husband was like, you know, a hard working guy, uh-huh. good guy. Um and you know, he's seen his daughter dead. He see I mean he's seen his wife dead. Yeah. And um he's basically stroking her hair like, oh, you know, he's crying, he's he's, yeah, he's yeah, grieving yeah. and shit like that. And this this was back in the day. Yeah. So you know, while, you know, the daughter's dead body or his wife's dead body, um, he's still, you know, crying on yeah. top of her head, uh, fixing her hair. And while he's with the do- the doctors were there. Yeah. Talk about, okay, we, we need to take her, uh-huh. you know, bury her and stuff like that. And um, the mom. Yeah. The mom just didn't know what was like. She, so the daughter died. The daughter died. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The mom of the daughter. Yeah. So the mom of the daughter like didn't like the guy. Mm-hmm. But she was like, yo, something is wrong. Yeah. Like something is wrong. So then, uh, you know, she began she began uh praying every day and this and the third trying yeah. to yeah, try yeah. to you know talk Figure to the daughter out. yeah talk to the daughter and shit like that. So one day, uh, the daughter supposedly came to her um to her, you know in front of her yeah and you know she spoke to the daughter yeah and the ghost of the daughter's uh the ghost of her daughter and she basically like turned her neck like she you know how um I'm speaking to you right yeah. now and my neck is basically turned yeah. back there yeah and my body's still yeah you yeah. know in front yeah, of yeah. you and then she starts walking back she starts walking back, and then the daughter supposedly said, "Oh, now you know what he did to me." Yeah, yeah. So they, um, the mom already, uh, told the police about this. Yeah, and they was like, "I, right, you know, we're gonna check this out." 
So and the and the um so they dug up the body. Yeah. And it was still it was still cool. And then they uh they looked at the back. They of the looked neck. at the neck and they had all the marks. They had just choke marks. Oh really? Yeah, bruises and everything. Mm. So um See now that? Yeah, so basically um she had a scarf around her neck. The daughter had a scarf around the neck because the husband put the scarf around her neck. It you know? choked her out. No, 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 no. He put the scarf around the neck to, oh, to hide cover it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was like, Oh, this is her favorite scarf. She she loves it. Mm-hmm. So he just put it around her. See, now that and uh in court basically they trusted her word. Like they didn't believe they didn't like have any proof necessarily. Yeah, yeah. You can't prove nothing. You just trust her word? Yeah, they just trust her word, be like, Yeah, um my um I I'm you know, my daughter's ghost yeah. told me this is what happened. See now shit like that. That's kind of iffy because now that's when you believe like is there really shit like that that's yeah. real life? Yeah. That's where that's where shit gets iffy. That especially shit like that. But it's like And the in the on the tombstone or whatever and uh on the daughter's daughter's grave or whatever, it said, um the only time a ghost story was true? ever to No or Yeah, to, basically true was ever to help a murder. Help yeah, find a murder. Wow. So. See now that's OD. Now I don't see. Um, <laughs> see like now. <sighs> so like, would you even like? Is is that too much on taking somebody's trust in somebody? I mean, not because, really. Because I mean, that's it's pretty big, but it's like there's no harm if you didn't. I mean, there's no harm. There's like, it's leaning towards more like if you if you do look at it, okay. And there's nothing there. It's like okay, whatever. We just redid the body, whatever, yeah. whatever. But if you did, if you do do it and you see it, then it's like that's a big thing. But like if you don't do it, then it's like you'll never know. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So like it, there's just like the 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 uh, the odds of it is just like it's whatever. Like think about it too, though. Like, what if instead of the husband, it was somebody else? Somebody else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You but, know. That's that's what that's what I'm saying. You really just trust this big thing in the world, yeah. bro. There's no such thing as truth, bro. Yeah. It's trust, bro. But I got I got one more question before you end it off, bro. All right, All right. we've been going, bro. Two hours and ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, be talking. They love the long podcast, oh, bro. Yeah, but we we're giving you a long podcast. Bro. Pause. That shit sounds long hella. podcast. Nah, th- how? I don't know. Podcast could mean something. Yo, else. that is crazy. Nah, twenty twenty three. Yo, give me that long podcast. That, that shit sounds crazy. crazy. <laughs> that does sound crazy. Oh, that, no, that was wild. That sounds crazy. But which one would you rather do for a billion dollars? You can't speak for an entire year. Or you have to wear a blindfold for a hundred days straight. That's light. What a blindfold? Not speaking. So think about it. like starting right now. Don't you can't say a word. That's fine. You literally just lost. My name. <laughs> no, no, obviously I'm doing it because of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, you, you think you can go the world without saying <clears throat> nothing? Well, you said blindfold. Blinded for a hundred days. days. That's like that's like a uh, little, little, little less than. A little more than three months. Or not speak for a year. Blindfolded. Think about it. I gonna, need to learn how to... I need to drive. You need to drive. I don't, I'm not speaking. You're not speaking? Yeah. I think I might do that too. But that, it's like... Damn, that shit gonna be ass though. Like, I would be it, frustrated a lot. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna be able to do nothing. Yeah. You're not even gonna be able to talk to your girl. I mean, if she, I mean, yeah, 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 we about to get a billion dollars, yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, like, what the fuck, like, oh. What? You, nigga, communicate through text, what the hell? Yeah, that's true, that's true. this is 2023. Yeah, but you don't think she'll get bored of you? Nah, that's for a billion dollars. You better, you better suck it up, bro. You better suck it up, bro. I'd be, I'd I'd be like, yo, uh, it's a billion dollars, bro. (laughs) She'll understand right there. Hey, bro. For how long? For a year. That's That's a long ass time, though. That's a long ass time. I'm going to go. I'll do it. I feel like after a while, I'll get used to it. Oh, yeah, definitely. But definitely, yeah. Thank you. I almost, almost just exited out the whole fucking this audio. Before the out, outro? It almost Crazy. fucked up. I, I pressed, like, the X button of, the of like, the document. And I almost pressed the X button of the fucking... The, the audio That shit would've been Fucking crazy yeah, This nigga almost folded Yeah But thank you again For pulling up for another podcast My yeah, brother man. Any fucking time bro know what You I'm know I'm saying I'm always here If y'all knew If y'all knew to the, If you have watched This whole podcast All the way through Comment down below We want to comment Fritz 
Kame, Kame, uh, 90th episode. 90th episode. Comment down in the if description. Um, follow the social down in the description. Link in, bo- link in the description, all that stuff. Um, new content coming on the way. If y'all want the new po- uh, the bonus podcast, 100 likes on this 100 po- likes. podcast. I don't know if we're going to get it. If there's a possibility, if we do, that's tough. But yeah, we different. They're regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I don't really go get it.